Are we you guys ready? You guys excited? Great to see you there, Neon Harper. Let's see if our lovely sleepy magician's ready. Alright, let's get this party started. Hello! Hi, uh, uh, hi, hi, um, uh, 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 hi, were you just sleeping? No, why? <laughs> we're on a get, we're on a show, we're on a talk um, show right here. You were, you were taking too long. I, it's like five minutes, how can you fall asleep in like five minutes? That's my secret, Captain. I'm always eepy. I'm always eepy sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to the the fun show. Hello. Yeah, thank welcome. You, thank you for having me. Of course, of course. I always love inviting people on my show. And I always like to hear everyone's stories and how they got started. So it's really cool. I'm really looking forward yeah. to this one. Well, actually, the really cool thing about this one is it's gonna be a little bit different than most of my other talk shows because we actually uh, don't we don't really have a care a uh, category for the kind of stuff you like to do, right? Um, I'm a just chatting streamer that won't commit to being a just chatting <laughs> streamer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you 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 got your own <laughs> steel. You got your own shtick. You know. I think I think you got your own stuff going on, which is good. Go for it. I think it's fun. It's interesting. You know, it makes it so that when people jump on your streams, they want to hear what you say. You know, they want to hear what you do. You know, because a lot of times, a lot of gaming streamers would just play like the same game over and over, so people stop watching them because they only mm -hmm. play that one game. But you don't have that problem. You pretty much people want to jump on your streams because they just want to hear you talk, which is cool. I don't know why they do. I. <laughs> I don't know why they do, but uh, oh, welcome. well, well, chat, chat, chat. Do you want? Do you know why you like to listen to the EP sleepy over here? To the EP sleeps, the sleeps, the EP magician, Eeps, the Eeps, the EP, the sleepy time junction of uh, magicians. Yeah. <laughs> My specialty. The specialty, specialty. I love, it, I love it. I love how Viku just literally got in, took the redeem, the one-time deem, and dipped out. I love it. Also, Steve, thank you for the follow, and also thank you for the follow, um, CJ. And uh, I, it's great to see Neon Harper here too. It's great. It's great to see you guys. You guys are all awesome. Can't Hi, we? Amber. Oh, hello, Hi, everyone. CJ. Hi, oh. Steve. Hello, everyone. It helps me sleep. This piss me off as his mod. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, be careful. We gotta be careful then. Well, hey, for those who are at home who don't know what this is, this is a fun little talk show we like to do where we'll be asking 15 questions to our lovely guest right here. Speaking of which, how about you introduce yourself to the lovely community who do might not know who you are? Okay. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Indy Dare. You can call me Indy or Dare. I am an insomniac, a sleep magician. I dabble in ASMR, tarot card readings, visual novels, and other stuff sometimes. Nice. That sounds like fun. Maybe, maybe a little bit later today we can uh, see examples see of some happens. of those. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Well, hey, that's awesome. I, I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be really cool. It's really cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, I do yeah. play games, but not on stream. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to watch me die. I would over love and over to see again. you play some Genshin and some Honkai. I want to see some of my, those. My PC can barely handle it. I have to play it on medium graphics when oh. I'm not streaming. Oh, <laughs> have you? So, so you don't have to do this, but I know there is a lot of crossplay between consoles. Do you have like a PS4 or a PS5? No. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, never mind. That's well. so much money. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You know, you're not wrong. You know, well, this is like what I do is I I play uh, Star Rail and mostly Genshin on my <laughs> PS5, and then I just stream it through a like a capture card, oh. and then so like it uses up all the power through my PS5, and the only thing my PC needs to do is just capture it. Oh. No, I play them both on PC. I'm, I'm PC scum till I die. Oh, hello scuffin, <laughs> hello the scuffins, the best of boys over there. Um, do you play Dead by Daylight per se? I played the Dead by Daylight dating sim. Does that count? Oh, you know what? I think that's better. You know, I think that's awesome. <laughs> I want to play that game. That sounds amazing. Wait, do they have the spirit? The spirit's like the sexy lady who's like got like pieces of her like kind of like separated from her limbs, but she's she's hot. 
She's yeah. hot. Yeah. She also has a katana, so also very hot. Freaking, it fits my, it fits my, uh, like, checklist perfectly, what you just said right there. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. So, she's in the game? Yeah, she's in the game. Um, there's also, I don't know any of the characters, the way I'm going to be describing them. I hope you'll understand. There's also <laughs> super, super huge, big buff man um, that's very, like, scary looking. Um, Has, like, 90%? Super, super big muscle mommy. Okay. Um, who has like a like a bunny mask? Okay, and that's then, the huntress. That is definitely the huntress. And then there's um a guy who kind of looks like a tree, but also like he's kind of like he's kind of gangly. He got he got he got limbs. If yeah, you know he, what I mean. Yeah, he got limbs. He got limbs. You know. He got limbs. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. 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 So right. it's pretty. It's pretty spread out. There's also some purple guy who's like kind of a dick, but like in like in a charming way. He a dick in a charming way. You know. You know. Oh. We, we all love like a, a nice. You know, a nice bad boy. A bad boy is that what it is? Boy. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. I see. Okay, I see how this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, no worries. Well, I I love playing Dead by Daylight. I think what Scuffin has mentioned. So it's, it's fun to play. It's fun to play. But I gotta try that dating sim. That might be something I have to. Yeah, yeah. Hooked on you, so. a Dead by Daylight dating sim. The only <laughs> Dead by Daylight material I have consumed is that dating sim. <laughs> you know what? Fair. I think that's my actually might be for the best. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said before, we'll be asking 15 questions to all of the guests. Now, if you guys in chat would like to ask a question to Dare over here, you guys certainly can't ask any question you guys want. Now, if you guys want to tribute to the stream, but you don't know what to ask, there's actually a spin the wheel redeem that you can actually hit, which I think uh, Steven actually already hit. So we're going to yeah, before, start before off. Before stream even went live, yeah. Steve, was, Steve was like, click, click, okay. click, click. Yeah, I think he was already down for it. So we'll we'll get that started. But first, the first question of the night, that's the most important question, is water wet? The correct answer is no water is not wet what water, by definition makes things wet it requires water to make things wet but water itself is not wet what yeah so your hand gets wet when it interacts with water but water itself is not wet because it is water when i drink water my mouth your doesn't body do it gets wet yeah your your mouth gets wet whenever you drink water because it's interacting with the water but the water itself is not wet what if I pour water onto water? Does the water it's get wet? It's still water. It's yeah. still water. But, the, but, but, but it's not going to get wet because it's water. It, it requires water to interact with something that isn't water, water. to make it wet. Well, what about oil? Does, does oil get wet? To be fair, that's because oil repels the properties of water because it's hydrophobic. So it's, it's not wet. It's oily. What about uh, honey? It's honey wet. Honey is sticky. It actually has a very low moisture content, which is why honey is shelf stable. I'm really, um, I'm really curious about this uh, conversation. I really like this actually. Yeah, I'm like, I'm really interested. Like, what? <laughs> uh, it doesn't uh, grow uh, a lot of mold and has uh, antibacterial properties because it has such a low moisture content. That's why we have honey from like Egyptian tombs that are still completely edible. Oh. Huh. Okay. Let me think of another. Let me think of another one. Um. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I uh, thought as it was much wood 80. as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Yeah, I thought that was 84. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, why yeah. I, 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 I counted it. I counted it. It was 84. Oh, yeah, yeah. You had, you had your little clicker watch. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He, was, he was chucking his woodchuck, and I was like... <laughs> and it, was, it ended up being 84. Yeah, he was going to go, like, way more than I could chuck wood. Have you something. seen, like, those, like, tree chopping competitions? But, like, time how fast it takes to, like, cut down a tree? No. Uh, is it pretty epic? It's very, it's very intense. It's very intense. Uh -huh. That'd be actually kind of cool. I'd like to see that. I actually had a wood chuck on the last VTuber interview. Now I have to look back up. Like who was <laughs> who was my last one? Did I have? <laughs> I had so many interviews. I get I do oh so gosh. many interviews. I do like one or now even twice a week sometimes. Oh my gosh! Um, you're, I don't, you're, you're packing them in. I I want to say the last person I had interview was actually the interviewer. I interviewed an interviewer. 
god. So we asked each other questions. Yeah, it was really good. No, it was Necros. It was my. It was. It was my. It was my zombie mod. I had my zombie mod as my last one. Oh, is that the the black and green guy? Yeah, he's really cool. Yeah, yeah, I saw him. Zom zombie mod. Yeah, he was really cool. And then also, obviously, I had uh, the interviewer who also interviewed me. That was fun too. That was fun. Like that. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, is mayonnaise an instrument? The world no, must know. Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> Pack of sardines. <laughs> All right, well, let's get in that spin, shall we? Let's get that spin out of the way. Yeah, I love spin. these spins. These spins are great. Play the small violin. What's your, okay, first, um, actually, this is funny. I didn't expect this to be the first question, but do you do Ada Adas? I do, it is a redeem, but oh. I'll do it for free for you guys. Okay, no, guys. No channel points required. No channel points required, so I'm <clears throat> pausing the music, and you guys get your clippers set up. Listen in. Ada, Ada. Ooh, that's a quiet one, but I like that one. It, you know, it's it, subtle, it's subtle. subtle. I like it, I like it. I like it. It's good. It's good. I like it. I like it. Hope you guys clip that. I know Steven wants to clip that. And Harper, Harper, you know you really want to clip that one. Definitely 100%. <laughs> awesome, awesome. What's your favorite, uh, going back to Spongebob, um, what's your favorite quote from Spongebob? My favorite quote from Spongebob? Either quote or um, joke. Quote or joke. Hmm. 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 I don't even remember the full like joke, but like where they're like they're shipping off pies, and they're like, "Oh no, these aren't pies; they're bombs." Uh, like we're, <laughs> we're shipping bombs. Like that was like the whole the, joke yeah. That, the, like the pies he had were just bombs. They were like a bomb factory. Yeah, these are, these are not pies; these are bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the bomb. Something about that like whole joke. I don't even remember the whole joke, but I thought that was so fucking funny. <laughs> I just love how like serious with it. They were just pirates moving on a bunch of pies, yeah, yeah. and then I think like Squidward was like, "Hey, I need to buy something for SpongeBob because like birthday or something like that." And I was yeah. like, "Hey, can I just buy one of the bomb? Can I buy one of these pies?" And he's like, "Oh, these are not pies. These are bombs. Bomb, yeah, yeah, bomb yeah. factory. They're bombs." <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And he's like a deadpan, like look at him. It, like I he's love deadpan humor. I love so it too. Much. Because like they don't like they're they are fish dressed up as pirates, shifting <laughs> bomb like like pies into a ship, and they thought we were the weird ones when we called out if we could buy a pie. Like what were you talking about? Oh, obviously these are bombs. What's wrong with you? Like, yeah, what the frick? Clearly bombs. These yeah. are clearly bombs. I don't know why you thought it was when when i heard the pies were the bomb i didn't think they meant it literally yeah but, you know well apparently a one percent i love how at the end when they thought that uh special eat the paw um did i hear mommy oh mommy no not mommy not that mommy different kind of mommy different kind of mommy. But we're talking about bombs right here we're talking about spongebob yeah. right here is mommy over here no no there's no mommy no mommy no there's no uh, there's some pies. people call me daddy oh no, no oh daddy though daddy <laughs> though mm -hmm. yeah, da daddy Ooh, daddy, the, daddy though term. yeah <laughs> Ooh, daddy though daddy dsd oh nice <laughs> dad, dad. Steve, steve got so excited they typed <laughs> dad father let's go <laughs> but anyway um the one, the main thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that, like, one of my favorite ever jokes ever when it comes to Spongebob is Patrick quotes. I love anything oh, that Patrick yeah. says. The machinations of my mind and are an enigma. enigma. <laughs> it just, like, shows him just, like, riding a, like, a toy horse or something like that. He does have some pretty banger quotes, for he sure. He does, for does. Sure. My favorite one is, like, when Sandy, like, he says something, mm -hmm. and then, like, Patrick, like, says something, like, do a flip or something like that. And Sandy was like, Can, like, don't you have to be stupid somewhere else? And Patrick goes, like, <laughs> not until four. I was like, yeah. oh, oh my God. <laughs> love that Harper so much. And I were literally in VC earlier yelling at each other, I'm Dirty Dan. I'm Dirty literally Dan. Like, literally like an hour ago. <laughs> I love it. That's so good. <laughs> That's so funny. They've got into like a SpongeBob like meme, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Dirty Dan. No, I'm, no, I'm, dirty I'm Dirty Dan. Dan. <laughs> I'll if you guys are Dirty Dan's, I'll be the Pinhead. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be I'll be Pinhead. I'll be the Pinhead. Let's go. <laughs> All right, another spin for you guys. Another spin. Three, see. I love it. I love it. 
Um, why'd you get in a fight on Dirty Dan in the first place? I don't know. You know, it just, you, you, you know, relationships, it just kind of happens. True, true. You get find you, you, the smallest you things. Have the, you have those kind of fights with your with your partner where you're you're both arguing over who's really Dirty Dan in the relationship. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Okay, we work through our differences. That's what you do. You, know? you work through the <laughs> troubling times. You guys go through these arguments that are super just, like which one's Dirty Dan. Yeah. But you guys, yeah, those, you guys those, those keep on. Hard you guys, you guys stay on trucking on because you know you guys still, you guys still like the important stuff. You know, like mm -hmm. I'm the pinhead, and apparently Steve's also the pinhead. You know what? You Larry know, is also someone sits on the pinhead. Larry, yep, yeah, sits on my head. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, another kind of VTuber, if you were not a magician sleep um, VTuber, what kind of VTuber would you be? Maybe a chinchilla. It would be a chinchilla? That'd be adorable. I could see you totally be a chinchilla. Yeah, I feel like I give off chinchilla vibes. You do. Mm -hmm. And chinchillas are also nocturnal animals, oh. so... It still also plays into my my nighttime vibe. You, as, well. as long as you're sleeping, Leila, as long as yeah, the yeah. sleeping involved, you will be that VTuber. And I'd be so soft. Yeah. You... Chinchillas have like so much hair in each like hair follicle. That's what makes them so soft. It's also why you can't bathe them in water. They have to oh. bathe in sand because their their fur is so dense that um the water can't like evaporate properly in the and they can like mold. Oh, that's just really mm -hmm. interesting. That's really interesting. Okay, okay, I like that. I like that. All right, well, let's get into my questions for you guys because it looks like everyone else has done all their questions. And again, you guys can ask more questions, spin more wheels. But now I'm going to ask you my questions. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Cool. And the first question is, why and when did you get started with streaming? Um. So I did stream a couple of times prior to being a VTuber. I was a faceless streamer. Um, I played Peggle and Space Cadet Pinball because my friend, um, my friend thought it would be funny just to like watch me play and stuff. So I did those, and I would occasionally like stream my art sometimes too. I get like one or two people who'd pop in, but you know, faceless streamer. There's there's nothing really there except what's on the screen mm. and like my voice. So. And then I kind of stopped. It was very sporadic. I'd stream like maybe once every like six months, basically. Wow. It was very, very rare. Um, but then Nijisanji Ian's Luxium came out. Ooh. And I kind of fell into the VTuber rabbit hole. <laughs> You've been awakened. <laughs> You're like, yeah, oh. I because I was watching I was watching like Vox and I was watching Mista and Ike and Luca and Shu, you know, all of them. I was like watching all their clips and I was watching the older like Niji Sanji Ian waves. And then I was uh, I already knew about Iron Mouse because I mean, you don't even have to be a VTuber to know who Iron Mouse is. Oh, like, yeah. Literally iconic, literally like, iconic. Um, <laughs> like, do, are you even are you are you <laughs> God, among men? I love that. <laughs> like, are you even a VTuber? Like, if you do not know what a Iron Mouse is, come on, come on. Yeah, come on. my roommate knows like nothing about VTubers, and even he knows about Iron Mouse. My like, my brother no does not know anything about like streaming and stuff like that, but he knows about Iron Mouse. Yeah, she she's just that big, you know. She's bigger than life. I love her, uh, absolutely incredible. But yeah, so like I already knew about Iron Mouse and uh, Kizuna Ai because I mm. remember like hearing about Kizuna Ai back when like she was like a first a thing but i was i wasn't really like a person who watched streams very much until like luxium came out and i was like oh this is like an entire like thing that people can do because i mean the main thing for me is i don't like sh like showing my actual face yeah I, I i like to keep my flesh hidden um yeah yeah Un unmasked unchained um so i I thought it'd be fun to actually be a VTuber. I felt like it's a little bit more liberating for me and I can draw. So I just made my own model. I made my model. I followed some YouTube tutorials on how to rig it. So it moves. Um, and then I kept streaming Peggle. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta keep it. You gotta keep it with the source. You gotta keep it with the source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then eventually kind of branched out to other stuff too. But that was really just like the introduction was just like the recognition of like, oh, I can still stream, but people can still have a face to like the name, but it's not my face. Mm -hmm. 
Nope, which is a 100% okay with. You know, I, that's the one thing I love about VTubing so much is the fact that people were able to do something they've always wanted to do, but they don't have to have the limitations of being forced to show their face. You know, they can have an avatar that represents who they really are and who they want to play as be the face of their streams. I think that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I absolutely loved it as as a thing. So I really did like take to it so much that I thought it was just so much fun and so like creatively liberating. Mm -mm. I agree, I agree. Like I, I I like I like how it's going and I hope it keeps on going that way. I hope it eventually gets to the point that everyone just has an avatar eventually, you know? There are some popular like even face streamers now who have like VTuber avatars of themselves. Like Pokemane even yep. has like uh her own vtuber avatar of herself um like who was it um the, i mean there's like a bunch of other like face cam vtubers that like or face cam streamers who also have like vtuber models of themselves even if it's just like a version of themselves i mean literally saikuno recently debuted his own vtuber model yeah and he was yeah he's he's a he's famous for his own face too so yeah like, like, like he's famous for his voice and his like timidness you know he's like he's like, he's, like yeah. super good at video he's games very, but he's yeah. like oh well i suck at games he's very you know woo -woo, cute being yeah. shy boy energy but then like monster in game it's very funny yeah he like destroy yeah that's why i think that's why i think saikuna is so popular is because he's so like woo -woo, I'm, I'm so shy i'm <laughs> oh, not very i'm not very good at this and they just murders just people it's like <laughs> like <laughs> blood gore he's like outbreaks you he's like Oh, you tried your best. It's okay. Give me oh, next time. Okay, GG. GG. Let's, <laughs> let's G -G. go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, actually, to the point that um, there's actually, um, I'm actually thinking about getting myself my own mod. I think that'd be so mm -hmm. much fun. And you know, if you have days where you're just like kind of feeling blah, or you don't feel yeah. the energy to like turn That's on the camera, fun. you can look 100% your best. Every exactly. Time. Every single time. Actually, it's really interesting because like. Um, because it's a, um, it's a, um, a challenge for what I'm doing is like, if I hit 1k followers on Twitch this year, um, I'm going to, um, commission for a VTuber model and you might like this. He's actually going to be a magician. Oh, mm -hmm. be magician buddies. Be magician yeah. buddies. Go. Actually, it's really cool. I, I, after someone like I've had so many VTubers tell me I should ascend to anime hood. You know, like, just become the anime. Shed, your mortal Shed my mortal coil and become anime. Live the dream of the weave. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to try to do it. And so as soon as, like, that was popped in my head, um, of, like, like, as all the VTubers trying to, like, <laughs> shove it in my head as much as possible, uh, <laughs> that I finally stopped thinking about it and, like, stopped thinking of, like, what he would look like, what his lore would be, and all this kind of stuff. That And, oh, my God, like... I had so much fun just like coming up with an idea and just like what it would do. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm in talk with a amazing artist right now. She does the most beautiful, like amazing art anime style, like characters. And oh, she's been on my so show. Exciting. Oh yeah. I'm so excited. It's, it's really cool to interact with some of the VTubers I have out on my show and be like, Hey, guess what? I kind of want to try this. And they're like, yay. Welcome. <laughs> oh, let's do this. Yes. Like yes. I, <laughs> One of, of us. us. One, One of, of us. us. Oh, exactly. You heard it. You yep. heard it here first, chat. You need, we need to get Tricko to 1K by 1K. the end of this year. 1K. 1K. 1K this year. And like, we're, we're already almost there. It's almost there. I'm actually, we're actually pretty close. I'm actually really excited. Um, but the main thing is that like, even if I don't get uh, 1K at the end of this year, it doesn't mean I won't do it. It just means <laughs> that it won't be my top priority. You know, it just like like I will like 100%. If we hit 1K, my next goal is to get that model set up and ready. But if I don't get it, yeah. then I'll be like, cool, awesome. I'll just work on some other things. I'll get some other stuff done. Yep, and I'll just projects. slowly get that stuff. Because I just bought a, I just bought this house. Like I, oh I have, God. I have priorities I need to take care. Of. I had to be an adult. It's not Congratulations fun. Congratulations on thank your you. house. Thank you. I appreciate. It. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, VTubers can be a little pricey. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> But if well, I'm, I mean, mine was free. Yeah, you're you you're just talented. Yours was just talent. <laughs> you just good at your job. I don't have a single artist bone in my body, so I wouldn't be able to do it. But main thing is that Can I you want make a stick figure. I could. I get a little stick figure. But <laughs> but like like so, I see so many beautiful, God given beauty of like models that have come on my show, and so like I feel like I want to have like a really cool looking model too. And yeah, yeah. with a lot of people who have gotten like 
a model's work um, who makes the mistake of like paying too much for a model and then end up not doing anything with it. Um, usually it's because they start streaming with that model, you know? Like, I've been yeah, streaming yeah. for over like three years now, so I kind of got yeah, the streaming like, down. I already know I like streaming. I already know yeah. I like streaming. I already know I got I got this, you know, so that. Um, so I think I'll have a really good, easy time with this kind of situation. Um, but it's still gonna be different. I'm pretty positive that B tubing and face streaming is gonna have some different feels, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for sure. I feel like it's a lot easier to be expressive with like your actual real face because I mean you've had so many years to adapt to to moving your own face around but um vtubing like you have to like set your parameters and you have to like adjust like the sensitivity for like different things and then you also have to kind of like puppet the model too so i feel like you have to be like even more exaggerated with like your facial expressions in order for the camera to pick it up so sometimes i feel like if like my camera actually flashed what my face looks like i'd be terrifying <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Well, I do know for a fact that I have so many great friends, so many great friends who will help me be like become an ascend to anime if I ever need help with it. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I will say, as a fellow glasses user, the tracking does get a little funky, wonky with your eye tracking if you wear glasses. As, as we fun to do. Mine also, mine also does that sometimes. So you oh. might see my own eyes wig out, but I can't take off my glasses. I need them to see. So well, I'll just be. I'll, to deal with it. I'll just be like this close to my stream, like when my guys. Like, don't worry, guys. I got this. I got this, <laughs> guys. You guys, I got this. Oh my god, I broke my tracking <laughs> leaning in too close to my fucking camera. <laughs> it just like falls out. It just goes crazy. It, it broke for a second. It's good. We're back. Good, now. we're good, we're good. I was we're like, back. Oh, we're, not, we're not even gonna try that. But like it, it just it just like it's so fun coming up with a design, you know, because obviously yes. my character that I would come up with wouldn't be just like me seeing on this little little like uh, that would be yeah. cute too. It would but be I think cute. That is the that is the appeal of VTuber is that you're not restricted to like reality. Yeah, you can become a character that you want to portray. And so I thought it'd be kind of cool to be this like VTuber like magician. Um, I want to be like a fox VTuber magician um, because I love foxes. So that's definitely one of them. Yeah, I um, mean foxes are standard. Yeah, those are like classic, right? It's there. So classic. And then being a trickster fox, you know, it just makes sense. Yeah. I think I think that's great. I think that's really cute. Cool, cool. I'll probably show you like because again, I I haven't I I want to pay obviously for like mm. these kind of things. A lot of times I've had people say that hey, I want I want to make you free art for your model when you bring it, and I appreciate it. But I want to pay I want to pay the artists. I want to pay you guys. Yeah, you want to support them. I want to support you guys. So I'll, I'll send you some stuff. But as a little bit of a little bit of a uh, teaser for you guys, Ooh. I have this mask right here. Oh, is that gonna be in your model design? Uh huh. That's so cool. I love yeah. it. I love that style of mask. I think it's yeah. very like playful, intriguing, and mysterious. Yeah, it's really cool. I really like it. So we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Just know that this mask has been like something I've been kind of thinking about for a while, and then so you might see more of that mask somewhere. So we'll see. We'll see. But enough yeah. about me and about my <laughs> model stuff like that. You're the one on the spotlight. Let's talk about more about you. Let's get into you and your awesomeness. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Second question. Oh, uh, well, second question. What plans you want to do for your streams? Because you do do a lot of different things for your streams. Yeah, I think I want to kind of focus on really solidifying the things that I do now and sort of like mastering those while I, you know, experiment on the side with other things. So I really do want to like improve like my ASMR style streams. Uh, I want to like, and just like basically just overall upgrade the current quality I have for a lot of the stuff I have and sort of feel like I'm mastering those before I start dabbling too much in other things. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't want to like spread myself too thin because I do, I do believe in like the the jack of all trades, master of none. So I do like to dabble in a lot of different ideas, but I feel like I want to have some sort of secure base to it. So it's me kind of working on the things I've always been working on, but just polishing them more. 
I like it. I like it. All right. I think that'd be kind of cool to see like what you try and want to do next. Is there anything you want to try to do differently next time? Something different? Um, hmm. Well, I think right now I'm just kind of working within the limitations I have. So, like, I would need to, like, upgrade my PC if I really wanted to do, like, more game streams like Genshin or Star Rail. Because I do play those games, like, on my own. I love those games. Um, but it's not really something I can do super easily stream-wise because my PC can't really handle that. So I'm limited by that. Um, but I'd also love to do, like more interactive style art streams i tend to get very immersed in my work whenever i'm drawing which is why i always worry that like art streams are gonna be boring for people because i'm gonna be too busy like control zing trying to draw this single circle over and over again for like half an hour <laughs> while chat's trying to like talk to me and i'm like shh, shh hold on guys guys i got a circle circle got a circle. circle don't worry don't Fuck. worry circle circle Fuck. circle, Fuck. circle. Circle. Oh, circle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like this is a circle, right? Like, yeah, no, it looks like a circle to me. No, it's not a circle enough. I need to make it more circle. More circle. I need more circle. <laughs> I need to make it more circle. <laughs> I love it. Well, I know it'd be kind of cool. Like I said, some people vibe with it. I know one of the cool things about Harper's streams is that a lot of times the people will just like kind of keep themselves entertained while watching Harper do certain things, you know? Like, there'll be conversations within the conversations in the in the chat, and then sometimes Harper will like, go into it and, like, say something about it. But it's kind of cool to see, like, communities kind of interact with themselves while something yeah. else is going on, you know? They're, they're keeping themselves entertained. Yeah. <laughs> the streamers focusing hard. On a yeah. super hard, difficult thing. They're babysitting themselves. Yeah, they keep it so entertained. I love it. It's, it's really interesting. I think it's really interesting. But no, that's really cool. I want to see... I can't wait to see more of your stuff. And hopefully one day when you get, like, you know, those cool upgrades and get all that, like, good PC and stuff that, I would love to see your Genshin build. See Genshin build. Yeah, yeah I'll, show, I'll show off all my all my booties. Yeah, I see your booties. I gotta see your booties. I gotta see your Zhongli. I bet yes. Zhongli is, is your master right now. He's my, he's good. my C2 boy, so he's great in co-op. Oh, it is really good. It is really good. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Don't. Ah, my nose. Don't. I didn't do it. You commanded my sneeze away. <laughs> You're like, no, stop it. Hey, don't do it. My nose was like, okay, fine. And then it worked. And then it worked. I guess that's, that's how it works. Just tell them no. That's all you have to yeah. do. Just say no to your body and it won't do it. Stop gaining weight. Yeah. Yeah. Let me yeah, eat whatever works. I want. Damn me it. Eat whatever I want. I have to worry about the repercussions of being 30. You know, let's not deal with it. Don't deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you are a um, so you don't really have like a very specific. You are pretty unique, is what I mean. Like, you have your own um, identity as a VTuber. You don't have like a cat. You don't not cat VTuber. You're not like a fox VTuber. You're kind of your own shtick. You know, you're kind of your own feel, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what do you bring to the VTuber community that helps you stand out a little bit more? I think it is the fact that um, I tend to bring a lot of conversation to my chat mm -hmm. um, in the variety of ways. I always like joke that I'm basically just a just chatting streamer with extra steps. Um, <laughs> Because, I mean, even with, like, my ASMR stuff, it's me, like, whispered rambling to people about, like, my day or, like, my thoughts in my head. Or I'm chatting with them, but just, like, in very quiet, whispered tones, you know, very soothing tones while we talk about whatever. So it really is just, like, a like a very soft, cozy, just chatting stream. But it's ASMR. And then whenever I do my tarot card streams, it's basically me chatting with, you know chat about like their thoughts and feelings on different things their anxieties Ooh. their worries um and how they're feeling about that and sort of encouraging them in that sense as well so again another just chatting stream but with like cards in the mix that's cool um and then visual novel streams i tend to read them out and voice act them so it is literally me just just talking out into the void and chatting <laughs> with like chat about what's happening in the visual novel or what oh. funny thing just happened so I feel like that's kind of like the main thing is 
nobody is following me for my gameplay or my, my <laughs> skill level. The, the, if they're coming to me to watch me be a god gamer, they need to find someone else. I'm sorry, oh. I, can't, I can't be your god gamer. <gasps> can't um, be the god gamer we all want? Oh, no. Sorry, I know, I know, I Man. know. But I feel like in exchange, I have, I'm pretty confident in my ability to sort of carry a conversation even a one-sided conversation <laughs> no that's talent right there that's a good talent to have yeah yeah so i think that's kind of what helps me stand out in that sense of i'm trying to involve my community in a sort of comfortable chatting atmosphere where we kind of just like get together and just like for shits and giggles talk about whatever yeah i like it it's just it's like cool. a way to unwind it's good to wind down and then get because I did see some of your chat likes to listen to your ASMRs when they want to go to sleep. So, like, that's a pretty good winding down, chilling, vibing kind of atmosphere. You get yeah, circle. yeah. I do, I do enjoy doing that. And I think that's a lot of fun uh, just to, like, branch off in that. Because I do, I do love the ear-licking, like, kissy um, VTubers uh, in the ASMR tag. I do listen to them. <clears throat> I do listen to the lewd ASMR VTubers. I love them. Wow. I, I love them so much. Um... But oh, I'm not a lewd ASMR VTuber. What? So I feel like that's also um, a a little bit of like a break from that as well. Because you'll see like a lot of them are like ear kisses. Mommy gives you a huggies. Good night. VR. Um, RP. Yandere milf. ASMR VTuber. But nothing wrong with it. I love them. I love like I said. I literally listen to them. I, I that's really an old listen time. To myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I've had I I've been to some of those streams before and it, it's really interesting because like I I have pretty good headphones so I can definitely tell whenever someone's just doing a normal stream and then as soon as I jump into someone else's stream they have an ASMR mic like I can mm -hmm. tell immediately because I'm like oh 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 you hear oh it in your ears. oh they're whispering in your left ear then you're yeah. whispering in your yeah. right and you're yeah. like oh, oh the oh, voices oh, the voices in oh. my head I, I need I need to turn off my <laughs> lights for this one oh my god. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So while I do have the fancy mic that I pull out for ASMR, um, I tend to dabble in more just like random like conversations. We go off on pretty hardcore tangents. I literally I read them. like the Bill of Rights one time in ASMR stream. Uh, there's also been several times where I've just whisper read the entire B movie script. <laughs> that sounds fun. That'd be fun to do. <laughs> It sounds like, you know, people just love just to hear you talk. It seems like that's what it is. People just like to hear it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of just like the appeal of it. People just like to hear me ramble, and I like to ramble. So it works out. It's, it's equivalent exchange. It's good. It's good. Perfect. It's great. <laughs> um, well, it looks like Steven wants us to drink some water. So you got to drink some oh, water yeah, with me. Yeah, let me do that. I got, I got my water right mm. here. Thank you, Steve. Cool, but no, I agree 100. That's just fun. I like I like going off side tangents, and having fun. Sometimes I wish we can do it more often, but sometimes mm -hmm. I think people do want to just watch me for my streams because I'll play a lot of like single player, like story kind of games. And sometimes I'll just like, huh, that's weird that the game design did that. Isn't that kind of weird? You want to talk about it? And my chat would just be like, no, I want to see more of the game. I'm like, okay. <laughs> You're like okay, okay. I'm just a little monkey. Like, uh, yeah, 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 sire. Let, let me let me play the game for you. You know. <laughs> nah, I, I think I think it's fun. I, I actually never actually had someone say like, no, get back to the game. They usually go like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that is like the the appeal of live streaming is the fact that the key thing there is the immediate audience interaction um, versus something like. Uh, gameplay like let's play YouTube videos where they're more cut and dry with actually showcasing the gameplay and not necessarily communicating with chat because I mean it's, it's pre-recorded mm -hmm. so well yeah <laughs> it'd be kind of scary if they replied to me while I'm watching the YouTube video yeah you you like you like recording a YouTube video and did you get a text message and it's like hey that's a really cool part in your game <laughs> how do you know I'm playing 
Uh, so yeah, yeah, I'm in your walls. Or, in your or walls. imagine you're on the other end and you're watching a YouTuber uh, doing a let's play on a video game. And, and you, you say something. And you think out loud. And you think out loud, wow, that's like really interesting game design for this NPC. And they go, yeah, it is really, really interesting. Right? It's really good. The NPC do this. And you're like, what the fuck? What the freak? What'd you? Like, how'd you know? How'd you know? <laughs> that's I think that'd be even scarier. That should be, that'd be, should be in a, that should be in a horror game. You know, that should be a horror game. <laughs> there's, the, there's that parasocial social game that came out that was about a streamer like being stalked uh, that was creepy oh. it was super terrifying like, like that's a creepy game like if you and, that does and, sound scary and it's about a vtuber like literally like, like being a vtuber gets hacked and like herself gets exposed um it was oh it's gosh. a really scary game like if you guys want like a in, really interesting like um like social like a, like a a mm -hmm. media social kind of like horror game to play that's definitely something i recommend playing what's it called it's called parasocial it's on it's on it's, it's on steam called... oh yeah, yeah i have seen i've seen some people mention that before it's a pretty oh, creepy okay. game like the game quality is not that great but to tell you the truth i think in horror games less less the quality more scary it is you know like mm -hmm. i played like i played fail frame 2 that was made for the playstation 2 and oh my god, that game is terrifying. The old day it gets, <laughs> like oh my god, like the 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 polygram like graphics, the way the graphics look, just adds to like the horror aspects of how old it looks, you know. So I know. Yeah, yeah, I could totally see that. But um, what were we talking about before? Dude, I don't know. know. <laughs> I, 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 I was like, that's a great game. You should play it. But then I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Um, explosion. Um, hello. Welcome. I want to give you. I want to give you a shout out because whenever I come into Harper's stream, you always give me a shout out. So thank you. I, I want. <laughs> thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. You, you, you're freaking awesome. Um, entire horror game genre relies on low budget to high rewards, and I think that's fine because there's a lot of like like a good another good game that came out was Alan Wake Two that came out recently, and a lot of people love playing that game, and it's a really high quality game with really good like uh, visual. Uh, it's like really high visual. Um, and a lot of people like that, but I just think it's really interesting that, like, I feel like a lot of people are, are just going in and playing a lot of old school, like, horror games during the month of October than, like, the new school stuff, so I thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think the thing that appeals with horror is the, the fact that it has to kind of be really well written and immersive in order mm. to actually get you scared. I mean, like, yeah, they could rely on jump scares, but jump scares are obviously going to work because mm. it's just like basically hitting your like normal base instincts. Yeah, but there is something whenever a game can truly unsettle you with its writing. I think that's like a true show of the understanding that the writers have in knowing what makes people tick. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no, I agree. Which like, is why I, I do love like horror games, horror movies. Like, I love watching like psychological thriller horror movies and stuff like that too. It really does just it, they do have it down to a science at this point of it's, understanding. It's so crazy how good like horror games is beginning and horror movies too. Like what you're saying, like horror <laughs> movies are also really good. Um, but the, I I agree that I really don't believe that like horror like games that just for a lot of jump scares are that great in my opinion um only because they just they just rely on that that initial fear of like just ugh, something in your face ugh, yeah, are you scared yeah. yet you obviously, know obviously if something jumps at you you're gonna jump away like but when some when something can scare you and downright unsettle you to the point where you're like going to the kitchen to get yourself some water and you feel like you're not alone, even mm. though you've already finished consuming the content, that like lingering fear, I think that's so great and enjoyable to uh, to have in a piece of media that you consume. No, one hundred percent. And I think it's really cool. Like here's a good example of this. First, hi Star. It's great to see you. Flirty as ever, I see how it is. I'll get that <laughs> spin wheel in a second. The 1922 is a really good movie. Oh, that's uh, the Mortuary yeah. Assistant is also great. That's too scary for me. Like I, I like, I don't mind scary games. I don't mind playing a lot of cool scary games. But when you have to like mm -hmm. figure out how to do things while trying to be scared is like really hard for me. Like there's that coffee, there's the coffee like shop. Uh, horror game that came out and you had to memorize like coffee re recipes 
to before you get to the horror part and i would just be stuck in the remembering the coffee recipes because i couldn't do it <laughs> it's so difficult uh, yeah just at that point it's just like time pressure time crunch stuff oh yeah no <laughs> it's crazy that. yeah the closing shift yeah so i, I just want to be doing it like here's but here's another one so uh, phasmophobia really cool game i actually starting to find myself liking ghost watchers a little bit better in my opinion ghost watchers oh. is a little bit better as a phasmophobia clone but a game that i think is actually on the verge of being really good but also still relies on jump scares is a game that's called don't scream have you heard about that it just came out oh, it's like yeah a vr one right where you yeah. actually scream uh you like you, the game in... the game loses yeah. yeah so like they rely on a lot of jump scares but here's the thing the atmosphere is so on point like so so on point yeah, i saw like the previews for that and it looked really really cool like it is something where it i feel like vr is lending itself to that sense of immersion because you're literally wearing like the vr headset to experience that i feel like that is giving that sense of immersion that really does add to like the unsettling atmosphere to like lead yeah. up to the jump scare it, it's so good and so crazy is but this so oh hi hello he's hi. my he's my gamer cat he's a, he likes oh to come by God. and say hi he likes to come he by and say hi he was a gamer cat well yeah because, because what he is that as he was growing up he would always come onto my streams and like to show off himself you know he's just as a streamer as i am and then also he would just chill in my lap and play video game like oh not play video God. games with me but he would just chill. Yeah, no, he was absolutely playing oh yeah no he was he was he was dog he was like dogging me the whole time i've been playing apex <laughs> and he's like dude freaking why did you see that come on man shoot him in the head ah <laughs> oh, man i could do this better if i had thumbs okay Oh my gosh, what's his name? His name is Max. Max, hi, handsome. You gonna sell my mouse? Let me see how this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna sell my. He's gonna sell my mouse. I can't. I can't. His mouse now. It's his mouse. He took my mouse. <laughs> well, so he's gonna just steal there, so I won't be able to touch the touch the. I'll I'll get to that spin <laughs> the wheel very soon, very soon. <laughs> uh, he's sitting on my mouse, so I can't do anything. <laughs> Um, legally you can't move i legally can't move him like i've got i've been late to work multiple times because this guy's not sitting on me yeah yeah it is illegal to get up if a cat's on you yeah um, oh, you, you can't go breaking the law can't no no don't you can't you're, you can't. you're a law-abiding citizen of right? course of course <laughs> i am you know like, like come on like like getting up from this guy no this is crime against humanity it's no oh it's my not. god he's such a handsome lad he, he just got groomed recently so um if you speak loud also counts as a scream yeah no it is it's it's so it's just a good game i i want to i'll maybe i'll try it one day but at the moment i think the hype kind of died down and i have so much planned so much planned i can't i you can't wait till next next halloween you yep next out. halloween i'll Get bust out here yes yes <laughs> um i do remember what one thing i want to do is i want to i want to play um if you up for it i have a collab i want to do with you um have oh. you ever played monster prom Yes, I've played. Oh, well, I haven't played the first one, but I have played Monster Prom, the um, like the camp one. And oh, that okay. Was a lot of fun. Have you played the road tour? The, yeah, the, the road, road trip? trip one. Yeah. yeah, I have not played that one yet, and I have not played the camp one. I want to try the camp. Oh, the road trip one because I got on sale, and oh I just love gosh. how adorable all the characters so are cute yes i love it even like the player characters are yeah adorable. i love, I love them. how they i play look. i play as the shadow guy like the the, yeah, the he's my too. favorite he's my favorite the shadow guy he's so adorable he's, he's just he's just favorite. so happy he's so happy and, all the time. and then his little shadow fellas they're he's also like, so happy and yeah. cute I love what him. is he like is he just a shadow he's, dude he just yeah he's just a shadow guy you know so cool i love, I love never him. seen a shadow guy before no i haven't i oh. have i the closest thing i have uh any viewed a shadow person was was desync and he he's kind of he's not really a shadow guy he's just a thing he's just a shadow thing he's kind of oh, all so you, don't, you don't like see the shadow guys on your way back from like the 7-eleven grabbing snacks at like 2 a.m you don't you don't like pass them by like on your way back home the the shadow guys watching me yeah yeah the, yeah yeah the shadow guys you know you you, you know you go you go to 7-eleven you grab your you grab your big gulp slurpee and you're walking home and you know you you bump into a shadow guy you're like oh my bad you know they're they're kind of quiet but like they're really nice guys they're pretty polite you never you never bump into them on your way home no Oh, uh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. But now I'm going to be looking out for them, and they're going to be like, 
you shouldn't have been looking out for me. I'm like, no! <laughs> Derry showed me the way! They showed me how to My bad, my bad, my bad. Ah! I thought you already knew. I thought we all saw them. No! Anyone in chat, did you guys see Shadow Creatures? Am I the only one that doesn't see these people? And this is why I didn't get into the anime VTuber. Because I'm not, I'm not, I don't have the power. I don't have the power yet. You gotta unlock the powers. I gotta unlock the powers. But yeah, if you ever buy Road Trip, um, let me know. I want to play with people. I want to play with people. That would be, that would be so much fun. I would love to do that. I need, I need to find, I need to find some more people to play. Um, I need to find more people to play with. So we'll, we'll do, we'll do something. We'll do something. Just let me know. Just let me know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't play, I can't play Don't Scream because when I get comfortable, I'm really loud. You know, I make sense. I, I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty quiet person. Quiet, quiet person. My dad won't say I'm crying, but he, he says it too loud. But anyway, that's the sad point. <laughs> Let's go do our spin. And we're going off topic again. Let's go topic. Ah, cat, you like... That's usually spin. how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. The shadows are always watching them just before the physical plane. Oh! See, I didn't know. I didn't know. I, it's just me, anime, just and my cat. Shy. That's all I have to wait. Yeah, just, just a little shy. Just a little shy. Just a little shy. Um, speaking of shy boys, uh, do you have a favorite Pokemon? Um... So, mm, that's really tough. That's really tough. Mm. I really like Lurantis. That was my first shiny. Um, oh, okay. Lurantis. But I also really love Mimikyu. Mimikyu is my favorite, too. I like Mimikyu. I love Mimikyu, ghost type. Mimikyu, yeah. A ghost fairy type is so great. I love ghost type. I love fairy type. I love ghost fairy type. Uh <laughs> <laughs> there you go perfect <laughs> i actually my first ever shiny was a mimikyu so i think mean, that's really oh good my gosh. Yeah. yeah i hunted for hours to get the lorantis one because i thought lorantis looked so adorable i love lorantis's design this is a very cool design there's some pokemon that has some like eh, but then there's some really mm -hmm. cool looking ones like mm -hmm. absol is really cool design i think oh yeah true absol's design really does like stand out what yeah, is it like a dog? So it's all adorable. Actually, I actually I have a I have a very adorable plushie of a um of a Mimikyu. Do you want to see it? Yes. Hey, hey, I want to see it. Oh my gosh. You, you stop going near dark areas because you can feel them watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's the normal vibes you get, you know. <laughs> I can't wait. We're gonna get we're gonna get live live debut of of Trico's Mimi Q. You guys, oh my god, look at him! He's got Halloween candy. Yep. Oh. Little Gengar. It's a Gengar Halloween candy. That's kind of super meta, though. You're right. To have, a to have a Pikachu cosplaying as a Mimi Q who's trying to look like a Pikachu. Right? I saw this and I was like, this is the best costume ever. How do you it's... think that makes Mimikyu feel if Mimikyu were to see Pikachu dressing as Mimikyu so, dressed like, like I, Pikachu? Like, I, so <laughs> it depends on what you say is lore because I've always thought that like the whole lore between behind Mimikyu was that he wanted to be loved. He just wants to be loved. Yeah. And so he found out the most loved Pokemon out there. It was a Pikachu. So he dressed up as a Pikachu so people would love him. And yeah, to see his so favorite, sweet. to see his favorite his Pokemon, icon. his icon dress up as him. I feel like he would be like, <gasps> you know, yeah, it's, like, it's like if like, yeah. it's like if Iron Mouse like, dressed up as like a VTuber, like that's not her. And that VTuber is like, <gasps> you know? Oh my god. Oh my yeah, god. yeah. It'd be so cool. Be so but, cool. but that VTuber would also have to be already cosplaying as Iron Mouse. So exactly. Be like the same. <laughs> exactly. It would oh. be so next level. This would be so good. So meta. But so I meta. love that though. Yeah, super <laughs> meta. All right, what question are we on next? Um, oh, um, the oh, hey, do you have? Oh, this is one of our made ones. Um. What's the next? Wait, yeah. What's next for the VTuber community as streamers change with time? What do you think is the next step as VTubers? 
I think it's going to be just like the integration as VTubers no longer as a genre of streaming so much as just another way to stream. Mm -hmm. Because right now it feels like VTubing is considered a genre of streamers in the same way that you have like first person shooter streamers and like that kind of thing, like horror streamers. It feels like VTubing has been kind of grouped up into like this giant lump of like a category when it's just a style of streaming in the same way that like some people would like chroma key out their background or some people would like, you know, deck out their pad behind them. It's just a different style of streaming. So I feel like we're going to start to see the, the trickling in and recognition that VTubing is just a style of streaming rather than an entire genre. Mm. And that's going to sort of bleed out and branch out to make more it more like, known because right now it's kind of niche but as it starts to bleed out into different genres and be recognized as just a different style of thing then i think that's how it's going to integrate itself in the future mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i agree 100 now he is a he has a little controversial question are you ready for it all right people thought that vtubing was gonna die off like a fad what no. do you say to those people um sucks to suck get good <laughs> because like to be honest like people thought fads would just die off and they do come and go pretty quickly but it seems like vtubing has stayed like pretty significantly to a point that i'm pretty sure vtubing is never gonna go away yeah i mean there's a lot of people who talk about like the oversaturation of like the vtuber market with like the big like post-covid boom mm. of vtubing that happened but i think there is also the recognition that there was kind of that even without vtubing there was that just like in the streamer genre for like all the time you think you see people who who start streaming because they think they're going to be like the the next ninja or whatever and then they they stream and then they realize oh well i'm not blowing up like i thought i would and then they quit like three months later like you see that in normal streaming too besides vtubing so of course you're also going to see it in the big vtubing boom just as much because it's still a form of streaming yeah so i feel like they're they were seeing that but not recognizing that that's a really common problem in any type of streaming not just vtubing no 100 like i think it's going to get to the point that like there's not going to just be like if you're a streamer are you like a gamer streamer are you like a uh, chatting streamer you are a streamer it's going to be like are you either a avatar streamer or are you going to be a live action streamer and then they go to the categories yeah i could see i feel like that's kind of what it is now too but now we're starting to see face cam streamers who are also getting vtuber models as well so that is kind of blurring the lines a little bit mm -hmm. even now we are blurring the lines right now actually if you think about it yeah yeah we're, 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 if i can move my arm up i would i would also be reaching <laughs> towards you wow <laughs> The anime <laughs> and the real life world is colliding. The multiverses. Wow. wow. They're merging. <laughs> and merging. Becoming one. Becoming one. What would happen? Is that like 3D? Is that what 3D looks like? So it's like, like 3.5D. 3.5D. This would be interesting. That would be weird to see. What, what would a... That would be like if like a live action, someone like me, would have parts <laughs> of myself that's like animated you know yeah you have like the like the anime cat ears pop up for like yeah. on top of your hat yeah <laughs> that'd be so interesting right like like the motion hey, caption that'd be so cool hello whimsy hello, hi whimsy hi oh, it's great to see you thank you for the follow but like wouldn't that be like super cool to see like someone like like I what have seen um, some combinations of that. There's like, I've been seeing on like my my Twitter feed lately. There's like this sort of like I can't remember what it what the actual program is called, but it's like people like actually like in real life you can see like their physical bodies, but it's like positioned their VTuber model head on top of their bodies and it's like registering their expressions That's and so things cool. in real time too. So it's their actual like physical body and like their camera in the background, but it's basically like in real time adding their vtuber models head onto like that body that'd be cool right that'd be so cool that's what i've been seeing like on my timeline i don't remember what the program is called it's like v face or something like that v -face, uh, that'd be kind of cool because, something I, like that. because i wouldn't mind like having this setup but then my yeah, vtuber I mean, got, got a lot of goodies there. right i have so much cool stuff i want to show off and i feel like if you i could flex just to the homies i gotta flex my homies i gotta show off my weaving them 
A weebius. Yeah. That'll show you, show you the good quality stuff. Good quality stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just like... It'd be cool if I was able to be like a VTuber model, but then still have the background be the same, you know? And it's just, you yeah, just yeah, see is, anime right there. I have, I have seen, yeah. That's something that is kind of in kind the of works cool. right That'd now. That'd be kind of cool. It'd be like a Who Frames Roger Rabbit, like where you see like the anime characters yeah, interacting yeah, yeah, yeah. with in life real stuff. World, yeah. That's so cool. That's so cool. I want to see, I want to see something. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. One day, one day. It's definitely in the works. The technology yeah. is currently in the works. So it is, is it being a thing. That might be the next step. That might be the really cool mm-hmm. stuff. All right, all right. Um, any events you want to do with your fans? Like any kind of like uh, community days you'd like to do with them? I I want to um, I want to pick back up and start streaming again. Dramatical Murder on Discord. Ooh. I can't stream it on Twitch. I can't stream Dramatical Murder on Twitch. Um, it's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know what Dramatical Murder is. Don't. But it sounds like it does not fit with Tia. Uh... It's not TOS friendly. Ah, I see, um, I see. It's a it's a very adult game. Uh, oh, it's an adult visual novel. It's an adult visual novel. We'll, we'll frame it that way. So I think it would be it would be fun to play that because it is one of my favorite in terms of like characterization and writing and world building. I think it's so amazing. But also there's like dicks. So yeah, you gotta watch out for the dicks. You gotta watch out for the dicks. <laughs> they're, they're just flying out everywhere. I can't. I can't. Freaking... I can't show that on Twitch. You know. You can't. You can't. So, I think I'd love to do that. I'd also, I also have a premium Crunchyroll account, so I've been Ooh. also thinking of doing like anime night or something. I think that'd be fun, just all of us bonding over like watching stuff and chilling together. That's definitely something I want to do more with my community. That'd be cool. I want to see that. I want to see that. Let's do it. Let's do yeah. anime nights and let's do anime nights. I want to see it. Yeah, and then and then hentai heat night every every Saturday night, boys. Let's go. No. Are you watching <laughs> anime by yourself? No, I'm with the boys. I'm with the lads. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I I can see that be a totally a meme. I can totally see that. I just I see like, I, are you are you really watching porn by yourself? And then someone screenshots like hentai in like a, in a in a Discord call, and you see all these people watching it. Like Twenty people in call right now. <laughs> <laughs> watching no. Bible Black or something. Bible Black, yeah. Bru- Whimsy Blues, like I'm, I, I volunteer. I want to go in this. Like I'm here. I'm in. I'm in I'm, I've got this. I got this. Yeah, hey, uh, yep. When, when is this? When is this? When is this? <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Um, let's go into your design of your model now. Okay. What's the thoughts that went into it when you were designing it? Um, I think the key thing was I was both creating my ideal gender appearance and also guy I thought was hot. That's why I kind of thought you might like albedo because you kind of have a lot of albedo like ness <laughs> in you. I can I can see I do Such like albedo rights. as a character, but but Zhongli is my favorite. He's my favorite. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? Again, we already talked about it, so we won't we won't we won't go yeah, too have, ham on it. A, I have a Zhongli booty mouse pad. <laughs> cultured, it's, uh, it's cultured. Wrist support, wrist support, wrist support. Oh yeah, yeah, totally, totally. You need his booty for the wrist of support. Definitely, <laughs> mm-hmm. definitely. One. <laughs> I, I, you know what makes sense, makes sense. Okay, well, let's get into your design. Like, so, um, I think we mentioned, uh, maybe it was actually before the stream actually started, but like you mentioned that every single part of your design has some kind of significance to a lore, right? Uh, I mean, not every single part, but a good chunk of my design I did consider in terms of how to integrate it into my character lore as well. Because I love, like, world building and character building and, like, creating scenes in my head. Um, So it was also an opportunity for that as well. So, like, I put a lot of thought and detail into, like, why do I have white hair why do i have these hairpins in my hair you know oh i have this tattoo on my arm what significance would this have oh i also have like this other sleeve on my other arm what significance would that have what does that mean you know and then the other stuff i was like oh pretty <laughs> <laughs> i was going to say like it seems like every single part of you has some kind of like reason to hit and then you said well oh, also it also looks pretty they all yeah, also, oh, pretty. <laughs> oh, pretty. Oh, pretty. I like it. <laughs> yeah, Luocha from Star Rail. Oh, my God. I uh, love Luocha. I got his light comb, but he didn't come home. I'm so mad. No, I'm so sorry. I accidentally, I accidentally did a single pull on the light cone banner, and I got his light cone in my only single pull of the light cone banner. Oh, no. <laughs> and, then, and I spent all of my other uh, Stellar Jade trying to bring him home, and I lost the 50-50. <sighs> 
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. I, I kind of, I, I know the feels. I try to get a uh, new valet. I try to get new valet. And I, I did get new valet, so. Oh, well, see, so I try to get new valet. So I try to get new valet. And I, I try to use all, as much as my free premiums as possible. And I got mm -hmm. to the 50 50. And I lost it. So I felt oh. terrible. So then I actually went in and like, okay, I'm going to get new valet. I want a new valet. I'm getting new valet. I'm going to buy, I'm going to pay some money to get new valet. And then. The next ten pull, I got new valet. Damn. So I was yeah, like, why did I, I have to wanted, buy all this? I wanted Bailu, but I lost the 50-50 on Bailu, and I was True. I was devastated. When that happened, I literally stopped playing Genshin for like a solid month and a half. I, I was so upset. That was me with, with <laughs> that was me with uh uh Kazuya. I didn't get Kazuya when he first came out, and so I was like, done. Don't want to play this game anymore. Oh my god. Or not Bailu, Baiju. Baiju, Baiju. Bai they're, bo they're both healers. So yeah. <laughs> they both, they both healers. So I can see, Bailu, I can see. Baiju, they're both, they're both healers. They're both yeah, bi, once... they're both bio Bai healers. Bai bio healers. Yeah. I don't I know, know how y'all remember these names. I know. I know I'm always <laughs> having to tell you what the names of the characters are. You just describe them to me. No, or like, yeah. like you, when you get really like into something, when you get something like, when you get into a really interesting game, like I still remember like all the League of Legends characters and like all the, all the like mm -hmm. the moves and the weapons they use for even though i stopped playing league of legends a long time ago I, like i still remember some of those characters like 100 percent. oh yeah yeah i'm i'm still i'm still trying so hard to get rio's lee to come home i mm -hmm. want him but i i've been i'm because i'm like mostly free to play most. mostly i, I have. have i have <laughs> i have spent money in genshin but very occasionally so i'm mostly free to play but i have bought a couple of welkins i have purchased a couple of packs in like the How two years i've played it's like a handful oh. so and i it's it's a light spending nice spend, which nice is why spending. i say i'm mostly free to play mostly. well i think it's fine to like like because like again it's a free to play game so i kind of have the yeah. mindset that if you spend a little bit of money on it then it wouldn't be that if bad I had you the know money to spend i would absolutely fucking well in the game the only thing <laughs> stopping me is my bank account that's it right. if, if <laughs> money was no object i would have e6 c6 of every single character i love oh no 100%. The, 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 the monetary the sum in my bank account is the only thing holding me back, and I envy everybody who can wail. <laughs> yep, 100%, 100%. That's funny. Like, like, so, like, I when I stream the game, I feel like I get something called stream of luck. I think I think oh, some yeah, of you guys yeah. have it. It's like I get stream of luck, so I only, like, pull when I stream. So I only put money into my streams so I can pull for the characters because I feel like I truly believe that the only reason why I have so many five stars and some of them are like C2 is because I stream it and I'm like, it was like, give me the energy of like, let's go, you know, yeah, yeah. So whatever. It has a secret parameter called yep. check if OBS is running. Yeah, is OBS is running, then they give you a higher chances. I, I swear, it's totally legit. I've gotten oh, yeah. like two like i've gotten c3 on like a like a mm -hmm. like because i put money into the game and like they gave me like three of them like in one go i'm like oh. like i, oh I fainted gosh. i fainted it was so good <laughs> yeah i remember i, to I oppose. Was, never I, even if i can't like stream it like online i'll still stream it to like my friends in discord so i can still try to get the streamer luck from that and that did happen where i pulled uh, on Ito's rerun banner, because uh -huh. I love my Ito. I have him built. I got uh, it. So, Ito's so, so adorable. So I love he's Ito. So great. He's so I great. I can hear him talk a all day. I think he's the only person that I can like, like overhear than like Zhongli. I love Zhongli talking. Like I can listen to him every mm -hmm. day. But I feel like I just love to hear what. Like I can hear what Zhongli Ito's talk. Say yeah. All Ears. Yeah, like I can just tune out and just listen to the soothness of Zhang Li, mm -hmm. but I actually want to pay attention to what Ido says because he just says some of the most funniest things ever. But it was so funny during the rerun banner for Ito. I had twenty pulls. Mm -hmm. I did my first ten pull. I got D Luke, and I was like, "Damn it!" Damn. And I scrounged up the last I need to get the second ten pull, and I got two Itos. Oh, so three five stars and 20 pools that's pretty dope that's pretty dope that's really good i, I think i like actually like screamed a little bit <laughs>
I would too. I would too. Like that's a pretty big one right there. I think just getting two five stars in the same like poll, the same ten poll, yeah, is the really only impressive. Time that's ever happened to me, but that was just oh my god. Oh my it god. It was incredible. I peaked. I peaked in Genshin when that happened. That was that I've been was chasing that high ever since. <laughs> yep, that's how they get you. They they give you that, <laughs> and they now now you can never leave. You can never leave. You can never leave. <laughs> you 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 come you come in for the nice anime characters. You stay because they give you that one. High attack right there. Right there. You're just chasing after yeah, it. Shake it. Now you're just going for the rest of your life to chain. And it will never like happen. They, they they flip that switch once and now they permanently put it off. So you'll never get there. But you don't know. <laughs> oh. You don't know that. Well, but the next ten pull though. What about the next ten pull? Okay, but what about the next one? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, you okay, didn't get that okay, one. Okay, you the, the next one. one. The next one though. <laughs> like, 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 don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> um <laughs> I, I'm the opposite. Never sisly pulled on camp. Always right afterwards. What? Oh, oh I gosh. know. I know. That's evil. That's, a, that's mean. That's mean. Why would Genshin do that? Why would Genshin do that? It's mean. <laughs> um, so one thing I want to talk about is um, one thing that catches my eyes. And everyone knows this. I do this for every single VTuber on my show. And that's because I always love looking at the eyes of vtubers they're, they're the first thing i see when i look at vtubers mm -hmm. like and i really like the blue like eyeliner you have on yours you know yeah i love it a lot too i just thought it'd be really cool i thought it was really cool too <laughs> now here's my question though does it have something to do with the magician style they try and go for because it kind of um... some magicians have like a different color eyeliner like I... kind of like a clown like a jester kind of person I don't I think you are, but I know. I wasn't going for that. I just thought, you know, I it thought it'd cool. be cool to have like colored eyeliner because I do actually wear blue eyeliner oh, in okay, real life okay. whenever I do like my makeup. I don't really wear it like how I do on my model, but I was like, but I do like wearing blue eyeliner uh, in real life. And oh, well, blue would go well with my model colors, you know. Well, let me just play around. I was like, oh, wait, that looks kind of sick, actually. <laughs> it actually looks really cool. I like it. It, it, it like. Like it brings out like your eyes quite a bit, and I think a lot of people like it. So I think it's really cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're cool. Yeah, I like it a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's one of my favorite questions to ask on the show, and that is, what's your favorite part about your own design? Hmm, I think my favorite part is probably the fact that it's kind of like a mixture of both my my ideal gender identity as well as like things i find hot in like an anime character so it really is just like the best of both worlds i look at my design and i love it so much because i like looking at it and i think that's kind of the best thing you can get out of a vtuber design is that you love to look at your own face you know i am narcissist in the lake staring at my own reflection <laughs> <laughs> yep yeah, no i i totally agree i totally agree like i think I, I think if my if the ideal model comes out and like it's to my mind like whatever is in my mind right now what it will look like comes on paper i would not want to look anywhere else you know like, it would be my wallpaper you, just, you got your your hand uh your your you know your chin on your on your wrist and you just Oh, like uh, you sigh and you stare at it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, one hundred percent. I go to sleep and he's like, he's like on the pillow right next to me. I'm like, uh, yeah. Yep, I can totally see that. I can totally see that. One hundred percent. We all, we all know when people make like, like hot, spicy, uh, uh, like model art for mm -hmm. their model is mostly for themselves like we oh, all know yeah, that you, know, so. you gotta feed yourself you feed other like, like, like neon harper you have the most amazing model i've seen and we've seen some spicy we've been we've Thursday been seeing night. some yeah we've seen some spicy art from that we all know you you want that you want that you want that you want that art we're, more we're, than anyone we're else we're all appreciators but we'll appreciate one ordering off the menu exactly exactly <laughs> exactly 100 <laughs> percent. loving yourself is the first and truest love you receive exactly exactly mm -hmm. it's the ultimate form of like confidence loving yourself very, very. self-care self-care best okay <laughs> well let's get into the really fun part and then because i think this also ties into your model a little bit but then let's, let's get into your lore or backstory oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my god i'm still writing out the full google doc of my lore <laughs> um give but... me the give me the cliff notes then 
All right, the Cliff Notes version is that my character, uh, oh, I'll just refer to as Derry. So Derry, Derry was um, originally an orphan who was taken in by a former royal magician uh, for like the court, one of like the most renowned magicians uh, of the court, takes them in, basically adopts them, takes care of them and decides to teach them magic because they have an affinity for magic. And then um, the royal mage's first student that um, she actually kicked out because uh, she could tell there was some some black heartedness happening with her first student uh, is back and pissed that she's taken another student oh. after she dumped her and decides if I can't have you, no one can. Casts the endless nightmare spell. Mm-hmm. But it fractures as the master tries to stop the spell. It's incomplete and it shatters and shards of that spell embed itself into my arm, which is why I actually wear that compression sleeve, right? Because it's actually covered in the scars from the broken spell. As I am slowly falling into the endless nightmare sleep, I see my master get stabbed by her first pupil and die. Mm. And I'm stuck in an endless nightmare trap for about 200 years, wandering the nightmare, unable to escape until I meet a dream demon. Oh. And I become besties with a dream demon because I ain't got nowhere else to go. That's cool. That's um, cool. I'm kind of stuck there. And, you know, eventually they kind of take pity on me. I'm like, you know what? I do have magic that could get you out of here, but it's demon magic. And you're a human, so I don't know how well it's gonna go. And um, and and Derry's like, you know, I'll I'll do it. I'll take it. You know, I'll take my chances. Whatever. What's Wait, the worst that can happen? What's here? the worst thing can happen? And so Derry takes the nightmare devouring tattoo that you see on my arm, Ooh. and it causes a lot of strain and stress on the body, which is why my hair actually turns white. But I eventually break out of the endless nightmare, and now I finish my master's research magic and try to do my best to help other people avoid having nightmares. Hopefully you don't see that pupil anymore. Well, it's been about 200 years, oh. so I'm sure she's probably dead. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully. Uh, hopefully. hopefully. Fingers she didn't, crossed. Fingers crossed. It'd be kind of, it'd be like a huge twist of like out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she's like, she, I'm she here. To me, and then and then she finds me on like fucking Twitch, whispering in people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talking about cum and stuff like that. You know, like those kind of things. Did, 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 like, very like, relevant conversation. Oh okay, yeah, I'll yeah, you know. sure, sure, sure. <laughs> um, um, I love how right in the beginning, like, literally, so when your when your fans were just literally saying, yeah, I think it was actually Steven. It was actually Steven saying that, hey. Hey, I don't mind talking about uh, what did he say? What exactly did he say? Wizardry. Yeah, wizardry. So yeah, that yeah, totally, one hundred percent. I'm pretty sure your mortal enemy will love to know that's how your stream, your life's going. <laughs> Two hundred years later, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the most relevant of stuff. Most relevant. <laughs> but no, I love it. That's actually really cool. I like, I like the, uh, I like all the different like parts of your lore going into your model that have a reason to it you know i think that's actually really cool i think that's yeah, really cool so um my hair clips are actually originally my master's hair clips that oh. she used to wear in her hair so that's the final sort of memories i have of my master that has passed away that mm-hmm. i carry with me mm-hmm. would you ever wear a hat random question i know but i just i i have worn oh. hats mm-hmm. yeah on, on your uh, whenever yeah, on my model, uh, I whenever I was doing the um, Stardew Valley collab with Harper, I made us some some farmer hats to oh, wear nice. during the collab. I, I I just feel like you know like 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 I just feel like I could totally see you with a magician's hat, you know. Oh, kind of like Lenny, kind of like, kinda like Lenny. Yeah, I could, I could see that. I, could see uh, that. I was wearing like I was wearing like a trucker. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little bit different. You can totally jam it out with that if you want to, but yeah. Cool, okay. Different vibes, but yeah, I guess I would wear a hat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, definitely one hundred percent. All right. Well, like, so where do the tarot cards come into play? Um, tarot cards have always been like a uh, off and on hobby of mine. Like even way before I became a streamer, I I've had like a deck of tarot cards because um I am actually Wiccan, like oh, okay. IRL. So um, I've always had like an interest in like uh, occultish stuff like that as well and different types of things like that. So I have 
already dabbled in tarot cards and I would do like readings for friends IRL you know whenever Ooh. they're feeling stressed I'd give them readings uh, you know to sort of help like alleviate some of their like anxieties and worries about things help them give them like a, a step in like a different direction if they're you know overthinking something so then I started doing it for a couple of streamer friends too you know mm -hmm. the, they'd be like hey I'm like really worried about this do you think like you can maybe like ask your tarot cards if they think about that and I was like you know I could probably just like get better at my tarot card readings and stuff like that if I just stream it and I do it for randos on stream. And oh. so that's kind of what happened. That sounds awesome. That's kind of cool. I I would love to see like kind of like a like kind of like a uh, like kind of like a uh, like a mind reading table with your tarot cards over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like like as a like stream. The crystal ball. Like crystal yeah. ball. Like I I have you ever saw that one um game that was uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it was like the player. You can't see the player, but the player has a table and it's all dark around it. And all you see is like the guy's like mask and you see the games and his hand will come out of the shadows every now and then to move Ooh. some of the cards. Like, they're playing a game. I can't remember what it's called, um, but like, I could totally see you be like at the end of the table, <laughs> kind of like kind of shadowy, like 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 above. Ooh, like mysterious. you'll see it and you'll like you'll pull up your cards like in real life yeah in, in, in inscription in, yeah inscription oh. so whimsley thank you that like that exactly i think i thought i like, explained that terribly so thank you for able to get that but yeah so like if that you would be really cool. that'd be cool to have like a stream like that like if you have your stream of your character like in that kind of atmosphere when you do your tarot card readings for like mm -hmm. your guests and stuff that i don't know i just thought that'd be kind of cool kind of cool that asmr really really neat yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Would you like to do a tarot card reading for myself? Yeah, let's let's see oh. what the cards what the cards feel like they gotta say to you. Let's do you see. have any questions in specific? Uh, there's only two. There's like only three things I would say. The only three things I would say. Um, one is um, is I've always been financially unstable. Like I've always had a hard time with money and income in general. <laughs> um, but with this new page in my life, like literally I, like my entire life has changed within this year. I went from like living in my hometown, working at a dead end job, like worrying about what I'm going to do when they raise my rent up 400, mm -hmm. $300 to oh. a full on living it. Yeah, I know. The full to moving away from my hometown, living in a town, a city I've never been to before, working at a new job that pays me a lot better, but it has me doing a lot more work because I'm doing a lot more mm -hmm. stuff than I was before, and to live in a house that is actually technically cheaper to live at than my rent back at my hometown. Isn't that so, insane to think about? Literally so, owning a house for it's cheaper. So than weird. That? Right? That's one of like, the biggest issues was just getting my foot in the door. That's the main thing. You can't really just afford a house. You just need to get your foot in the door and pay all that in, in like the new stuff because of them. But so my question would be like, um, will my finances and um, would my financial like situations get better now that I have a new new job, new work environment, new new place to live and a new uh, new house? Um, yeah, that would be mean, my you thing. Can sort of ask like a like a more open ended question about like your your future financial prospects mm -hmm. now that you've started a new page in your book. Yeah, let's yeah. see, let's see. It's Dumb so cards. it's so change it's so different, so different. Like my life has changed mm -hmm. so much that it's not just a new page in the book. It's like a complete new book series. Like yeah, it's yeah. so different. You, you you finished the first book and now you're yeah. writing the sequel. Now I'm writing the sequel now. It's so crazy so crazy yeah but i do feel like my life has ended at my hometown and now i'm like a complete new life it kind of seems like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then of course because i'm a hopeless romantic i would also like maybe a tarot card leaving on my love life is new Ooh. world new new life yeah new, you're in a new city new that city. means new people new exactly. fish in the sea It'd be cool to see That'd be sweet as music. Okay, let's see, let's see. Well, we'll start with um with your your financial outlook kind of thing. What the cards think about your finance stuff? Probably the, the smartest future. way because I feel like I wouldn't be able to be a great boyfriend <laughs> if I can't afford one. <laughs> 
you know, I don't think it's all about money and relationships. True, but that, that, yeah, but if you also want to like treat your partner really yeah. nicely and stuff, also like that, I want to be. Want to feel also stable. I would I would feel bad if I wasn't financially stable myself, and then I get in a relationship, you know, because I'll be that's be the main thing I'd be mm -hmm. focusing on is just not being able to four things, you know. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. It is very stressful in that kind of situation too. So I I 100% get it. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got for you. Oh, oh. This is death. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, death is not actually uh, a scary card. I will. I will say that death is not actually. A scary okay. Card. You I I, card, so, I, I, um... I don't know anything about tarot cards. This is my first ever tarot card reading ever done to me, so I don't know. I just Ooh, I just always tarot card in like horror games, so I was like, oh. Death. You actually will die tomorrow. Oh, sweet. Well, hey, I guess, I guess we'll just. Run. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay. Um, but okay. So the, I pulled like three cards. We got the seven of wands, the reverse three of coins, and the reverse page of wands. So if we start with the seven of wands, the seven of wands is the card of, honey, you got a big storm coming. Ooh. Um. <laughs> But, but while that does sound scary, this is also a card that kind of talks about it's nothing you can't handle. It, whatever's coming, it's going to be tough. It's probably going to suck. But it's not something you can't surmount. Okay. It's not something you can't get past. But the card, the card's kind of like things are going to be a little dicey. Things are going to be a little rough. Okay. Um, and I feel like that's also playing into these other two cards as well, which are kind of diving into what that might mean with the uh, reverse three of coins. The reverse three of coins is a card of like a lack of focus and a sense of stagnation, feeling like you're not actually moving forward. Mm -hmm. It might be like feelings that even though you're in a new place, you're sort of falling back into bad habits and you're not actually pushing yourself in the best way you can for yourself in this new environment that you've built. And that's also sort of tying in with this um, reverse page of wands, which is also this idea of like lost opportunities. So mm -hmm. it could be that you're looking back on previous opportunities that you had for yourself in your previous location with your old job, your old, you know, friends, your old life. And you're looking back on that and you might be so focused on the past options you had that you're going to end up losing track and losing focus and losing potential opportunities that you have available to you in this new place, in this mm -hmm. new area that you have. And so it feels like the cards are kind of warning you about that to, to look forward in the current direction you're at and not try to look back too much about what you had before and push forward in the sense of what is around you currently. And I think that will help you a lot. But yeah, oh honey, you got a big storm coming. But you'll <laughs> be fine. You'll get through it. You'll get through it. We'll get through it. We'll do it. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah. So I, that, actually, that actually would be really useful um, like two weeks ago. Um, oh yeah. Because I actually were I actually was robbed. Oh my god. Yeah. So like one like like Are you this. Okay? Well, I was. I'm. I was perfectly safe. Uh, pretty much. This would this would make sense if this was betrayed to something that happened to me two weeks ago because I was mm -hmm. robbed. Because new city. I I, mm -hmm. I I'm from I'm from a small town and going to the big city. Not really used to deal with a lot of things. That I should be more like. I, I, I was too comfortable, and I realized that I probably should have watched my back a little bit more. Um, because what happened was that um, I needed to get money out of the bank to pay my mortgage. And usually the way I do oh. it is that I sometimes I give my dad, because he's, his name is also on, on the lease, and mm -hmm. um, I give him some money so that we can both pay together. Um, and so one day I had to go get, uh, I thought it'd be easy for me just to Venmo him or something like that, but he's older. So he doesn't know how all that kind of stuff works. So he told me to go buy checks. I'm like, who buys, who does checks? <laughs> who does checks yeah. anymore? So he told me to go get checks. I was like, okay, well I need to get checks. And he kind of, the, and kind of was like, Hey, I, I need you to go do this so we can get the, the mortgage paid and stuff. I was like, okay, okay, no worries. Um, mm -hmm. so I go to the bank, um, in the kind of sketchy neighborhood. Um, but I went there and I was like, cool, can I get checks? And they're like, well, actually we can get checks, but it won't be until a week later. I'm like, okay, well I need something. So how about just give me money? Give me cash. Let me put it in an envelope and I'll put it into this. This is my mortgage right here, my mortgage. And I just, 
There was so many things they should have done wrong. Uh, there's so many things they should have just not done. And I look back on it today and like I'm like, oh my god, I could have done that differently, could have done that differently. But what I did do is I literally walked out of West Fargo, a envelope of Wells Fargo in hand, walked oh. into my car, put it in my uh put it in my glove box, drove to my work, got out of my work, and got out of my car, and then I took the rest of my break because I was out on break when I did that. Mm -hmm. So I went to I went to go do my rest and break, thinking to myself, cool, when I get off, I'll just give them my money to my dad. All set and all good. Seems like it's fine. Nothing's wrong with him. Um when I was when I was getting out of the car to go back to work, one of my friends who's a co-worker was going to break. So he was like, Hey, I'm gonna get in my car. I drove I parked right next to you, I'm gonna get in my car, I'm gonna drive to um I'm gonna drive to get some food. I'm like, cool, take care. When he gets mm -hmm. back, he knows there's a giant hole in my windshield. Oh, no. And unfortunately, they were, they knew exactly where to go. Knew exactly where to go. And so oh. all that money was just gone. Oh, that's so painful. Gone. That's awful. Yeah, it was, it was a huge, like, shock to me because I didn't know that, I didn't think that would ever happen. Like, just, like, why would that would happen? Like, yeah, it has. Yeah, nobody really thinks about that actually happening to them, I think, until it does happen. Until it happens. Um, and it was really, it was really stressful because, again, that was money for my mortgage, so I was afraid yeah, I was gonna be able to pay my mortgage. a lot of money, too. Yeah, like, I don't even have a lock. I don't have a lock for my glove box. Like, I don't have any kind of lock. Like, my car doesn't have a lock. So, like, uh, it should, like, I should probably lock it. Like, again, there should have been billions of things I should have done better. One, I should, like, one, I should just not have done in the first place. I should just be like, cool, cash? Well, I'll just wait. I'll just tell my dad, hey, I have to wait until my chicks come in, and then I'll pay you. And he'll be like, cool, awesome. That's mm -hmm. what I should have done. Also, I should have just took the envelope and brought it into my work and just put it in my bag. Because I have a bag that I like to bring to work. I could have just put it in there. That's another thing I could have done. You know, there's so many things I could have done that, you know, I could have, like, hit it better. I could have done some stuff. But instead, I was just like, ah, what, what could happen? No one will mess with me. I'll just park it, be all casual, be nice, and then be fine. I'll just go and eat the rest of my food. Nothing bad will happen. There was so many things I should have done differently. So many things. But... The problem was, I didn't do anything differently, and it's gone. No way I could find it, because we did have cameras of the car, but apparently the car had one of those, like, dealer, like, license plates. Like, it was one of those mm. paper ones, so it's not, like, a legit one. Yeah. Um, and the police who came to check it out couldn't find the person, couldn't find any of the kind of leads, even though we kind of knew he could have. If he did try hard enough, he probably could have done something. But whatever, it's gone. So I just moved yeah. on. I moved on from this. So that tarot card reading will be one hundred percent very useful. Like two weeks ago, because then I'd be like, huh? Mm, maybe I should be more. Here. But which is fine. It's actually it's actually really interesting because um, my my dad was able to just pay off the full mortgage for me, and he told me, hey, next time we get a mortgage pay, you have to pay me back. So like okay yeah. this month pay me back next month but then for some reason um the the it's weird how mortgages work because um mm -hmm. when you buy a house you buy a loan for that house and that's what you pay your mortgage with you know you pay yeah, the mortgage you basically for the pay, house. The, pay the bank back pay the for... bank back all the kind of stuff that well apparently uh, a different company that we bought the original loan from was bought out so oh. now a different company owns our loan for the mm -hmm. house and they pretty much said hey um while we're in this transition of getting a all the paperwork's over um don't worry about paying your mortgage for the next two months because we still need oh, to okay. get those hands so i was like oh cool i guess i don't actually have to worry about like paying my mortgage back i can just start saving up my money and not yeah. have to worry about that so like it actually ended up working out for me in the end that allows me to save some money and do some stuff. So yeah, yeah it's, it's cool. still it's still unfortunate that it happened, and I think whenever you are robbed, that is a really scary sort of realization and situation that people kind of have to come to terms with because it is like a like a violation and and like a betrayal to you. Um, but it is it is nice to hear that there is still like a silver lining for you in a sense yeah. as you move forward, and you were still able to you know secure the house, and that's really really great. Which was really really great, yeah, one hundred percent. It is really interesting because you mentioned that in tarot card reading. I don't know if tarot card reading is only for the future, only for the future, and not in the Sometimes, past. Sometimes, uh, 
because I don't really necessarily read just for like the future or just like past, present, future. The cards kind of talk about whatever they feel like they want to talk about. So a lot of people tend to relate it to very recent events that are very yeah. fresh to them. That's what it know? seems like. Because like that storm was a very major storm for me. Like I never experienced yeah. something like that. But I overcame it. Like I like I just I it's had still, it support. Still like maybe sometimes. you're still kind of weathering the storm. Yeah. The storm is now passing, but you're still kind of going through the storm yeah. in the terms of like recovering from it. Exactly. From exactly. So it's just really interesting that you mentioned that tarot card reading. I was like, oh. Huh. Hopefully it was about that situation. And now hopefully I don't have to deal with a new situation financially mm-hmm. because I'm still in the storm of the first situation like, please, <laughs> i don't want to don't tell me i've got another one, one. <laughs> i don't want to do another one <laughs> ah. well finger, fingers crossed but yeah the cards definitely their advice is you know don't focus too much on what's already happened as you push forward because otherwise you're going to get stuck in the back um and back in the past of the things that you've gone through you know you're going to mm. be constantly reliving what could i have done differently what did <sighs> i do wrong what why did i do that and that and that i should have done this and this and yeah, this yeah. it's like you can't go back in the past and change the things that have already happened all you can do is just kind of Ooh, push um, forward with mm. the knowledge you have now to try to avoid it in the future well i and definitely I will never have again. cash on me ever again <laughs> just never it's like do <laughs> not have cash just do not like like because like i talked to wills fago about it because that's the bank i go to and they pretty much said that yeah if it was a debit card credit card it was a check it was if it was anything else they probably could have done something about it but because it was cash they literally just there's nothing there's nothing that's such a shame that really yeah. is just like yeah. all of the circumstances yeah. lining up for one big poop yeah but what it is like like if i just did one of the billions of things differently i probably would have been a lot better off but because everything just was perfect and lined for it just mm-hmm. suck it just it just worked out like for that person it just uh, i guess the one thing i just don't like the most is that i'm the kind of person that thinks that if people work hard for something they should be rewarded right yeah i yeah. think that's a very a very natural belief to have exactly and i worked really hard for that money working really hard and it's for a really hard working thing like a house i worked really hard to get yeah. this house i work really then, hard at the job and, some and someone exactly take just take it the easiest way the yeah exactly yeah. so it just it, may, it just makes me feel bad that like someone who literally didn't work a single thing in the entire life did the most easiest thing ever and now they got away with it you know it's just but like you know, that's the big I, thing that eats me i am a strong me. believer in karma yep. i am an ultra strong believer in karma both good karma and bad karma you know mm-hmm. whatever whatever you've done all of your hard work all of that it's gonna pay off in the end you're going to get better opportunities better rewards for all of the time and effort you put into things and eventually they're gonna slip up mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they're gonna fuck up they're gonna get caught and they're gonna have to face justice right in one way or another whether it's state justice through like you know the prosecution system of like our law or you know another type of justice some form of justice is going to be enacted so while it does suck that it happened i am a strong believer that um you know things will things will work out for both you and for them <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i agree 100 i do believe in that kind of stuff too the like karma kind of situation um so we'll see how that goes like i'm going to just move on from the whole situation and just like just think of it as like okay it's a life lesson i will learn about it if like some miracle comes up and like i get like a note or i get a call from the police officer saying that hey um we found the person and he totally had the receipt still of your transaction on him so here's your yeah. money back you know some some random crazy thing like that then yeah awesome but or, i'm just gonna or assume maybe, or maybe mr beast will show up and happen to give you the exact amount of money you lost i, I feel you i feel know, really sketch <laughs> mr beast did that <laughs> it was like hey here's 900 dollars. i was like how'd you know <laughs> you're not watching my videos i definitely know that <laughs> Did, did you have planned for this? Did you did you like that's a like high? A, is like this a video? Terrifying form of like right? right there. Yeah, like what if like what if the next Mr. Beast video is like I paid I paid a robber to rob this guy's uh car and then I gave that money back to the person who got stolen. 
You know, I was like, that'd be the craziest video ever, right? Oh my god. <laughs> god got it at the end. Hello, Ruthie. It's okay. It's great to see you. Welcome, welcome. Um, your first hand felt Derry's uh, uh, tarot effect. I took a break piece of it, and it feels a lot better now. Good, good. I like that. That's good. Always take the breaks. Um, Indy, uh, Indy lives outside the bounds of the time and molds reality to fit the tarot card But see, that's what I'm saying. It's like, like... <laughs> Like, like, that's why I'm really, really hoping when she meant the storm that, like, of, like, the financial kind of situation, I really hope it was just the the well, big the storm that, that just, just happened. happened. Because if there's another one coming out, I, like, I'm just getting, like, getting financially set up and good for this one. If a new one comes up, it's going <laughs> to suck. But, I will uh, say, though, like, like I said, the card that mentioned that, the Seven of Wands, it is mm -hmm. a card that, while it does mention the big storm is coming, it's not anything more than you can handle. Yeah, so, so that's what I'm saying. While it, while it does seem scary, you know, it is kind of reassuring you in the sense of you'll still get through it. Yeah. You'll still get through it. It'll I'll still okay. get through it. Well, what, what, one thing that was scaring me, and you uh, you kind of clarified it a little bit better um, and kind of put my mind at ease, Part of it was like when you were reading the tarot card readings, um, I was thinking, oh shoot, am I gonna like lose my job? Like, is that like what you kind of stating? It's like like something financially bad is gonna happen to me and I'll lose my job and then I have to overcome it. I was kind of freaking out, but then you're like, wait, no, like, is this something of reminiscing of my past that I need to get over because I'm keep thinking about it? Because then, of course, you know, when you live in a new town, of course you're gonna keep living in the past and keep thinking about stuff, you know? Um, and then keep yeah, thinking that like it, it felt more like a stagnation in that sense rather than you like losing your job because there yeah. would be another way for the cards to spell it out in that sense if that's mm -hmm. what it was but it feels more like you're you're too focused on the things you had before and trying to get those things back rather yeah. than pushing forward with the new opportunities you have in your new place true true and like i promise you guys i promise you guys that is nothing that's in my past right now that i want to get back <laughs> because like <laughs> i don't want to give my old job i definitely want to don't want to work there again i've been hearing terrible stories at the uh, at the old job that i'm having uh so i'm glad with the new job i have and i'm oh, super yeah. looking forward to it i do not want to live in an apartment complex that sounds like a terrible idea definitely want to deal with that <laughs> and i just don't want to go back to the old town i lived in i lived there for over 30 years i already dealt mm -hmm. all the stuff i'm so used to everything and being in a completely different location in a city yeah there's some sketchy things that happen in it but i just still love the city i think the city is great you know i get to like 10 minutes away i can go to like a anime store or like a like a retro game store that oh, i would yeah, have to go yeah. like two hours away if i wanted to do that at back in my old town you know you got new you new and better opportunities for you here exactly exactly it. that's so good now i don't want to eat up too much of your time um but do you want to do that the love one as well? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a love one real quick for you. Let's let me, do this. Let me sir. shuffle, 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 speed shuffle. run, speed, speed run. run, speed run. <laughs> but yeah, it's great to see you guys. Thank you so much, Ruthie. It's great to see you. Uh, unfortunately, uh, someone actually redeemed the just noticed. You've been noticed, Ruthie, and another sh another uh, fan has been fighting to get the one <laughs> redeem that I have. You've been noticed, and you're the first one. Ah, um, uh, the first redeem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Steve was also trying to snag that one too, but get stopped by your rules. Yeah, <laughs> because I think yeah, it didn't have something, something like that. Yeah, I think it was. And also the thick. I just realized thick was here. <laughs> but yeah, it's great to see you guys. Thank you guys so much for. I hope you guys enjoying the stream. It's really fun. I I love I love just talking about randomness. Randomness. I love it. It's great. It's great. Yeah, it's always so much fun. I mean, also, thank you for the hydrate. We will, we, de we will drink. We will drink the brew. Once I, once I pull the cards, I'll I'll, I'll sippy sip. Mm. Next time I will win. You will win, Ruthie. It won't be until Wednesday. I'm not streaming until Wednesday. The one thing I've been uh, I have been doing this a little bit different is that I used to stream like five days out of the week, and I would stream out to work. But sometimes work, I get so tired that either I pass out, like after I get off from work, and I don't and I don't stream because I just don't. Or I will like, try and stream, but it's super late at night, and no one can show up because it's already like super late for them. Um, so now I've changed up my stream. So I stream less days, but I stream earlier for people to jump in on them. And I stream on uh, longer. So I stream longer and earlier in the day for them. So it allows me to have some more days off to be able to kind of like relax and like kind of have the mental break. But it still allows me to still stream and do the things I love just on an earlier time. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, are you ready for your love reading? I will, as I scratch as well. <laughs> I will do. All right, all right. So uh, I pulled three cards for your love reading. We've got the five of wands, reverse two of coins, and the reverse lovers card. Oh, that's so, not good. Well, you explain. You explain. Okay. Okay. So the five of wands is a card of you're about to charge into the battlefield, right? It's a card of you gotta you gotta be ready to fight. You got and it's also a card that kind of talks about fortune favoring the bold, right? If you go out there and you throw your best shot and you're you know you've got that confidence to you and you decide to take the chances, uh, this is a card that's like you'll be rewarded for you know taking the shot, taking the chances. That is really what it's about. And then we fall into the reverse two of coins and the reverse lovers card, which kind of feels like it's talking a little bit about your your insecurities and your fears about relationships, especially this reverse two of coins. It's kind of actually talking about what you were talking to me about earlier um, with the sense of instability, right? Mm. Two is normally a very balanced number. Um, you know, you have two of something, it's very even. But since it's reversed, it's flipped upside down, it is that sense of like instability, insecurity, mm. um, the feeling of like you're sinking, right? So it might be that you feel like there's just too much going on in your life right now and you feel like you can't give 100%. And I mean, obviously, you know, relationships take a lot of time and energy and work. And that is something that really is kind of nagging at you is that you you feel like these mood swings almost of like, yes, I want to, you know, have a partner. I want to be able to give my time and energy and love to them. But also, ah, oh, fuck, there's so much happening in my life. Holy shit. Oh. Ah. Kind of like flipping <laughs> back and forth between them. Maybe you see like a like one of those like lonely bait memes on like Twitter or something where it's like the fucking couples and you're like, oh, God, I wish that was uh. me. <laughs> <laughs> and then you and then you and then you're like ah oh, but no and then you and then you, you know you're dealing with all the other things and you're not even thinking about that because you're too focused on this other stuff but then you see you know more <laughs> they get afraid you. you see you see a romance anime frame and you're like god i wish that was ah. me and then, and then you're like oh fuck but i gotta focus on this and so it's like that feeling of like constant back and forth in your head you're flip-flopping your brain's kind of everywhere that that's it. me that's that's been me for over 31 years so <laughs> You're not wrong. I've always been like that. <laughs> that's my that's my secret. I've always been like that. I've always been like that. And then we also followed up with the uh, reverse lovers card, oh. which the lovers is normally a card about like magnetism and attraction in that sense. But when it's kind of reversed, it's this idea of like going through the motions, almost like you feel kind of like you're you're required to have a relationship in a sense maybe you're feeling pressured by outside sources to have a partner <laughs> like maybe you maybe your parents are like when are you gonna get married when are you gonna give me grandkids and you're kind of feeling that sort of outside pressure of like well i have to have a partner like how can i how can i not have a partner right now and that's also kind of nagging at you a bit so it is this sort of idea of your heart's not even fully quite into it. Like, yeah, sure, there is a desire for romance, but it's not necessarily something you're super, super pushing yourself for so much as it's other people in your life that are probably pushing you to have that for. And so it's this idea of, I just I should just find somebody and get it over with, right? Mm. In, a, in a sense of that as well. All right, That's so what, it, kind of like. so what it sounds like, what it sounds like, um... I have people in my life who are trying to like, hey, you should have a, you should have a girlfriend, you should have a girlfriend, and I'm kind of like, ah, well, maybe I don't know if I should. I'm not really financially stable enough. I don't know if I can give them mm -hmm. the time. Able to say, oh, just, just do it, just go for it, just do it. And then I'm like, okay, fine, I'll just do it. And then I'm going to get to the part where I'm like, I, hey, hey, you should go for that one person. And I'm like, okay, I'll go for it. I'm going to go in my confidence, and it will work out. But I will still be tossing and turning on the fact that, like, I don't know if I should as you date you because I can't really give you the time and energy for that. And yeah, that's why that's why I'm getting out of it. Also, have like this lingering fear too of like you'll get into the relationship, but what if you don't even love them? Yeah, and you're just kind of doing just it doing because it. You, everybody's telling you you need to be in a relationship. Yeah. And honestly, my best advice for you would be, fuck them. Fuck them. Tell uh, anybody who makes you feel like you need to be in a relationship. 
can go fuck themselves. Honestly, mm. nobody needs to have a partner. Sure, it's nice to have a partner, a romantic partner, somebody you can feel you can trust in that sense. I think that is a really wonderful thing. But <laughs> but you don't need to have a relationship with somebody to be complete. You're already your whole individual self. And if you yourself feel like you can't handle a relationship right now, I think the most responsible and kind thing you can do is not force yourself into a relationship. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's one thing if you just kind of stumble into somebody and you find that you really mesh well with this person and you do end up actually liking them and that happens. If that happens, that's wonderful. But I don't think you should be pressuring yourself or forcing yourself. It feels like you are also kind of like genuine there are genuine reasons and excuses but it does feel like you are trying to give yourself more excuses to to avoid getting into relationships because you don't really want to be in one but you feel like you have to justify it to everybody else yeah uh, of why you don't want to be in one right now but it's fine if you just don't want to be in one right now i think that's fine if you decide you don't even want to be in a relationship at all period i think that's also fine but i think that's kind of something you kind of have to tackle <laughs> with yourself and with the people in your immediate life is just like fuck them yeah well like, yeah. like i totally agree with that 100 and, and, and tell you the truth like that's been my life for a very long time i always felt like i need to have that second half you know i need to have that one kind of thing like like steve i totally feel i totally feel your 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 analogy right there like 100 but after my last relationship i had where i literally got cheated on like the last that's bit of awful. it um, I kind of just didn't want to be in a relationship anymore. I kind of just wanted to like kind of just do my own thing. And then all the moving yeah. happened and all the new job happened. So I thought, okay, well, I'm busy. I don't have time to deal with the relationship right now. I'm just going to focus on myself, try and get this whole yeah. situation. But I do have a lot of coworkers who saying, hey, you don't, have a, you don't have a girlfriend yet? Well, let's go to bars. Let's go have fun. Come with us. We'll hook you up. We'll hook you up. Don't worry, man. We'll get you a girl. I'm like... I I don't you're, really yeah, want you're, one. You're, right you're, now. Like, you're, you're like I'm not actually that. I don't really yeah. care that much about getting one. You, yeah. I think that's perfectly fine to just focus on yourself. I don't think you need to feel pressured to have a partner. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you're being pressured by your coworkers, lie. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them you do. Tell me. Yeah. You know, yeah, girlfriend. She, she, she's long distance. Yep. I. So. Uh, yeah. That, that. That's fair. That's fair. But I don't. That is. It is unfortunate that people feel like they have to feel pressured to be in a relationship. Well, it, like that. Like to be honest, that's how I felt. Like when like the, the other thing that has been is my own head, my own brain has been telling me that hey, you're 30 years old, you need to be in a relationship right now because you like if you become too old you won't be able to have kids you won't be able to like but that's the one thing i've always wanted in my life is be a father and have kids and raise a family you know like one I of the mean, reasons why could but yeah you could also adopt too if true you to be. but I, I want i would want like i've always had the idea of like of like having the flesh and blood the son or daughter like that, that sort of connection yeah in that yeah sense. the connection got that like, like i i, I 100 support adoptions and maybe i would have to get adoption eventually but like i, I mean, always want to like have other one options too there's like surrogacy yeah yeah there's like that kind of thing so surrogate could still be you know flesh and blood related if you did mm -hmm. want a relationship with like a partner where you have kids with your partner i mean uh women on average start menopause at like 50 ish yeah so you still have time and your partner would still have time you know if you did want to make that happen yeah but i don't I'm think saying, you need to feel rushed if it happens it happens but which is there's like, also other options around you which is definitely how i feel nowadays like as, as, I, as i get older and become more mature i saw like be more accepting of like my position in my life and be more okay with where i'm at as a human being like as myself you know i've been more acceptable and being able to take care of myself as an individual you know and enjoying myself as an individual you know like back in the day back when i was growing up i always felt like i i need to be with someone and if i don't be with someone i don't know what i'll do with my life but now as i grow up and get older i start realizing that you know what actually i can just enjoy myself and yeah, if someone comes along and compliments the life, not trying to change it, I probably would be more into that relationship than like my previous relationships where I tried to change for them, you know? Because I think that's the yeah. worst thing you do 
is to begin getting a relationship and try and change for them. Because I think a lot of people can relate that you will, you like, you want to be in a relationship so badly, you want to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend so badly that you don't care who likes you. You know, like they, like you just want to find someone that dislikes you. And as long as you find that one person, you will do whatever you can for that one person, and even change who you are as an individual to satisfy their likes because you've always wanted someone to be with that and i found out over the years of like dating in that kind of mindset it's not the best you don't want to do that you kind of want to be able to be okay with yourself individually and then just have someone come along and just like put seasoning on your life you yeah, know yeah they're spicing no, like, up your life a little yeah bit. It's like it's like you're you like you have this pot of stew and you have this really good concoction of like curry or something like that uh oh mixed into I it i had curry last night it's so good it's so good i'm actually really <laughs> hungry so now good. so i probably shouldn't say this <laughs> <laughs> but like you have this curry that you're mixing up and you want to add things to your curry to make it taste really good you want your life to be really taste really good but you don't want to like like take the meat out of the curry and put like seafood in it you know you don't want to yeah, change it that much wanna, just to make like, this food like strawberry jelly in your yeah, curry. exactly you don't want this kind of stuff added to your curry if you like don't know if you don't like it you know like what if you actually do find those kind of relationships and you find out later down the line you actually were for you didn't like it at all you didn't like the way it works you know either the relationship wasn't the way you wanted to having kids is not the way you wanted to you want something that like you already have a good stir you already got your good meats and your veggies you have the good stir going for it and then someone comes along and put some garlic powder in it don't put some salt yeah. and pepper you know and it adds to it you know you know, nice curry with a nice coconut milk in it. Exactly. I fucking love coconut milk curry. Me too, it's right? So good. It's so good. So that's what that's what I found out as I grow up. Is like I I've already like like because like as someone who's like not used to having good self confidence in myself, I found mm -hmm. myself that you know what I actually would be a pretty good significant other, and I should treat myself as that because I am in a good position in my life that if I did have the right person, it would be great. Yeah, I think I think that's kind of what the cards were also saying too was the sense of be bold, be you, but also there's a lot you're dealing with right now that I don't think you need to be dealing with right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. True, true. I like it. These tarot card readings, I approve. I really good. I was pretty <laughs> skeptical, skeptical, skept, skept, skeptical. Skep yeah, skeptical. Yes, skeptical. That word, Skeptical. I don't know why I can't say that. I don't know why I can't say that word, but I'm just gonna move on from that. Um, I yeah, was yeah. kind of like, I wasn't against it, I thought it was really cool, but I just knew that it was a lot of like, um, a lot of psychology tricks that a lot of people had to use by being made generic and ge general with their, their, their statements. Um, but with this, it actually did seem like it was pretty like spot on, so I, I like it. It's good. I like, thank you so much yeah, for yeah. giving me your tarot card ratings. I think they're great. Yeah. I love doing them. They're so much fun to do, and I feel mm -hmm. like I learn so much about other people whenever I do them too. That's cool. I, I, I like get it. like a little a little glimpse into into like their thoughts and their feelings about stuff. Oh yeah, no, I like that. I like that. Everyone, I'm gonna give. I haven't done this in a while, so I need to do this right now. One second, because I think this lovely guest right here, Derek, deserves another shout out. <gasps> So don't That's forget to me. give her a, a lovely follow and check her out and see if there's any more tarot card readings him. you like to. Him. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> um, um, so it's so pushed on people that you value is based off of having a partner, kids, etc. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. And like, as you grew up, like your parents are actually trying to put that on you too. Um, but I think nowadays people are becoming more acceptable, more acceptable, mm -hmm. like, especially in like the Gen Z and the millennial like generation. It's becoming more like acceptable to kind of just be on your own and kind of just do your own thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. It is getting, uh, I think, a little bit more open-minded because a lot more people lately aren't having kids because yep. they just don't even can't want afford kids. It. They can't even know? afford it either. They can't, can't even afford kids in this economy? Bruh. No. Mm, bruh, <laughs> bruh. Um, going back to what you guys were saying, um, uh, men don't stop producing sperm when you when they grow old. <laughs> That's bruh. My for women it gets more dangerous to have kids in your forties. True, true. Um, but yeah, uh, born too late to buy a house. Yes, some people. Well, see, oh, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just waiting for the for you know the the bubble to pop. Yep. I'm, I'm sure it'll pop in like the next ten-ish years. Yep, I think sooner. so too. 
And, and that's why I'm happy that I'm in the spot I have right now. Because if it does pop, then I could always just try and sell my house. And it will be worth a lot more. And then I can always just, you know, go in for a better house later on. When it's a lot more affordable. Right now, I enjoy the place I'm in. I like it a lot. Yeah. But that just might be an option down the road. But yeah. It's too early to explore space. Yes, too early to explore space. Don't, no, we don't want to go space. I want to explore more of the ocean space, in my opinion. There's some terrifying shit in the ocean, though. Yeah. I don't know, man. I know. There's some I... fucked up creatures in the ocean. The, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. They finally got proof of like the actual like kraken. Like they actually legit got yeah. proof of the like, kraken actually being like super massive, like a megathon or something. The megathon, megathon. Um, they had to prove for those kind of things. But I think we should explore 100 percent of our Earth. Before we started going to like trying to popularize like Mars, you know. I mean, there's like entire like rivers and oceans underneath our rivers and oceans, yeah. And like underneath the Earth's crust, and that's even more fucked. We haven't even done that yet. Exactly. Like... I'm saying like, let's, <laughs> let's just do our own like survey of the planet before we go out and check out if Mass Effect like Azari is a thing, you know. I know oh, people want mm -hmm. to check out for Azaris. I know. We are horny mother effers, but stay with please, our planet. Let's stay please, with our planet. Please, please. <laughs> uh, born at the right time to see the nuclear family cave in. Yay. Isn't that great? Yay. So great. So great. <laughs> um, so, um, controversial take. We'll actually have to speed through these questions a little bit, if you don't mind. All right, we'll speed run. We'll speed run this. We'll we'll um, but still be afraid to take your time. Like, like, that's what okay. I'm saying. I want you, I don't want you to feel rushed. I still want you to be able to answer these questions as much as you want. But we'll get through them. We'll get through them. Um, the, there's an underwater waterfall that is longer than the longest waterfalls on the surface. See, that sounds dope. I want to love that's to see that. That's fucking lucky. I would love, I love that. That'd be cool to see. Also, you need to have that as a clip, uh, like, like a soundboard right there. <laughs> I want to see it as a soundboard. I want that as a soundboard. Just, Wait, what? The F -U -A -F -U oh, oh, the fucky <laughs> Yes, the, make that a sound clip. Just put that as like a blurp sound. I want that to be a thing. I will, I'll be oh playing God. it all the time. I'll play it all the time. <laughs> oh, someone made it F -U -A. <laughs> you know? I love it. I love it. All right, so um, what's your thoughts on the VTuber community at the moment? Mm, I feel like it's going through a massive change right now. Uh, there's a lot that's happening uh, now that the sort of initial growing bubble of the VTuber community has kind of burst. I think we're sort of seeing like the the new evolution of VTubers coming out. So there's a lot of different things at play. So it's hard to say what exactly is happening, but I'm excited to see what does happen. That'd be cool. So I'd I'm be very a... open-minded about the future of the VTuber community. Yeah. I, I think so too. I think that'd be cool to see. I want to see some cool stuff. I want to see. see. That'd be nice. <laughs> um, have you noticed any changes from, from when you first started streaming compared to now? Um, I'm a lot more confident about just saying whatever the fuck is in my brain. <laughs> I, just, I, I don't filter myself at all at this point. That's we, good. We get on That's some good. pretty unhinged topics. And I don't even know where they start, where they come from. I just blurt shit out. And I feel like that's, that's something new. I used to be a little bit more um, refined. Refined. But now I'm just, uh, I'll say whatever more, I want. A little bit more to myself <laughs> during my streams, you know, trying to hold myself back. And now, uh, now you know, I've, I've let the beast be unleashed. Beast be unleashed. <laughs> Unleash the beast. <laughs> I, I like it. No, it's good. I think you should be. I think. I think. I think more people should be. Oh, actually, I shouldn't say that. I think there's definitely some people that shouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> some people they should rein it in a little. Yeah, like, like hold on, <laughs> like like hold your horses. Be a little bit more like filtered, just, just a little bit. But I think. I think. I think. I think it's good when people actually are a little more like released when it comes to their opinions on certain things. I think it's good. It's good. Yeah, and VTubes are getting too horny and unhinged. I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah, you got the you gotta get the spray bottle on them. Yes. You know. Hey, stop it. <laughs> hey. 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 
Um, like a cat chewing on your fucking iPhone cable. I do that all the time. I make sure he doesn't do anything but my my cat can be a butt sometimes. He will definitely be a butt. He's a That's great. That's the charm point of them though. It That's is what true. makes him so cute. He is until like he's scratching at my door trying to get out, and it was like three o'clock in the morning. I was like, I need to go to sleep. Stop it. And he's like, but I want to go outside. It's like, no, you oh, don't. You're indoor. You're indoor cat. Stop yeah. it. No, <laughs> he's not allowed. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, I know you don't play streaming. Like, you don't stream video games, but what is your favorite video game or video game franchise? Honestly, it's probably either Genshin or Star Rail. Genshin's I, I play really both good. of those a lot. I've been playing Genshin since the very first Tartalia banner came out. Yeah. So it's been it's been a long time since I've been playing Genshin. Almost the beginning, not quite the very beginning, but yeah. No, uh, no. I also got the Tetris effect from Genshin, so that's how I know I've played it a lot. <laughs> you know you know about the Tetris effect, right? Uh, explain it to me. So the Tetris effect is like whenever you play a video game so much that you kind of start to hallucinate it on the edge of your vision and you even dream about it. Oh, it's called a Tetris effect. That's interesting. Yeah, because it was it was first noted with Tetris players. Oh, that's they would literally start to see like the puzzle pieces falling in like the edge of their vision. They'd even dream about playing it. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. That's really interesting to think about. I would love to see a study on that. I would love to see like an actual legit study on that. It'd be kind of cool. I I'm not there yet. I have had games like that before, like like Skyrim. Like I played Skyrim and I remember having stuff like that. Um, but I can't think, I don't think I've gotten to the point where like Genshin has been like that to me. Um, only because I've just been so busy, I haven't been able to jump into yeah, those yeah. kind of things. Um, but yeah, cat freaking sitting on my mouse again. Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> but no, I, I like, isn't like Genshin like so like good storytelling wise and character designs it is. Before... i also really really love just exploring i love just wandering around i mm. see a shiny treasure chest in the distance i kill the monsters i take the treasure i find the next shiny treasure chest in the distance i move on i kill the monsters and that's how i literally explore yeah whenever I, like whenever you unlock the new areas that's literally my method of exploring is i just like find the first treasure chest and i see where the nearest one is and i just keep going from there and just slowly zigzagging around the map <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually. I don't know. I, I just have so much respect for Genshin. A lot, a lot of people don't because it's a free to play game and all this anime mm -hmm. and that like gotcha system kind of situation with it. But like, if you look past that and just look at like the actual like, core part of the game, it's really good for a free to play game. It's actually really oh, good yeah. quality. They put some really good effort into the game. I don't know. Like, some people give it a lot of flag, but I, I think it's good. I think it's really good. Oh, yeah, I love it so much. I've literally wandered around Liyue Harbor so much in Genshin that I, like, I think dreamed about actually walking through Liyue Harbor in my dream. Dang, <laughs> that's so cool, though. Like, that's 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 me with Inazuma. I haven't dreamed about Inazuma, but I, I, I have, like, found my favorite spots to just walk around in Inazuma that I'll just, like, keep on oh, yeah, walking around. Oh, yeah, with the cherry blossom trees. Uh -huh. It's so pretty seeing, like, the cherry blossoms float down everywhere. That's so scenic. So Absolutely. good. So good. Um, I've had that Tetris effect with Destiny 2, Core Keeper, and Mortal Online 2. Oh, that's oh. kind of cool. And I love how Whimsy has just had a dawning moment on him. Wait, that's a <laughs> thing? What? I've been doing that with Bejeweled. It's like, what? Oh, my God. I literally play Bejeweled, too. I have Bejeweled stars on my phone. I was playing that earlier. Nice, nice. Actually, now that I think about it, I think Dead by Daylight is like that for me. Because I've had, like, dreams about, like, horror games. Like mm -hmm. not in scary way. Like I don't have scary like, dreams you anymore. Feel like you're actually still playing it. Well, like so it's weird because I used to have like nightmares growing up as a kid, and I, they were really scary. But now that I kind of like, can be aware of dreams a little bit, I kind of treat them as like mm -hmm. a video game idea. So like something scary will happen to me in a dream, and I'll wake up. I'm like, a really cool <laughs> idea for a video game. Oh my god! Like that would be so cool. And I saw like thinking about all the like all the different things could be and some of that. So I also thinking about that kind of stuff. So. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah my dreams are like super realistic um i would, like play out almost like movies too yeah and i'll I can see like that. wake up and i'll like describe my dreams and it sounds like a full like live action like kind good of idea film. right that'd be so yeah, cool like, so oh man cool. this would make such a cool movie <laughs> <laughs> i agree that'd be so cool um i get it with identity v2 but it's more i am the characters you mean are you talking about like with cyberpunk like you have the you identify as v because it's that first person kind of like realm that you were kind of like playing as that character. 
I can see that. I can see that. Definitely. That's pretty sick. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, I can see Cyberpunk definitely being that kind of thing because it, it, the game does try its best to be like you are the character. Like that's why the, like there's barely any time you ever like third person. Um, so that's really interesting. I guess I'm just gonna have my mouse on my cat. Yeah. Oh, great mouse tracking. Great, great mouse tracking. The DVD type of game that Coraline's like actually. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Coraline, I like it. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, um, next one is if you could live in any video game world, no matter like, like video game or game world, like it like, be isekai, okay. what game would it be? Okay, so the question I have in return to refine this question is, am I going into it as just regular old me, or am I getting like, you know, powers and abilities that um, main characters in that franchise would have? So, that's a good question. So, I would say just plain old you, but you can plain get but you can me. get the powers in the game, but you just can't start with it, you know what I mean? So like, mm. so like, if you're in Genshin, if you want to be Isekai in Genshin, I wouldn't, I wouldn't start with a vision. You wouldn't, but, I could but you could get a vision. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. So like, like if you were in the Dragon Ball universe, um, you couldn't become a Super Saiyan, but you could like learn like a Krillin to like get his key in kind of situation. You know? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because you okay. just, because you just you, you're not a Super Saiyan. You're not a Saiyan kind of thing. Or. Okay. If, or if you like, what's another a good one? Like if you go into a water world, you're not going to start as like a mermaid. You just be underwater. I just drown. You just drown. <laughs> <laughs> you just drown. That's it. I just drown. Okay. 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 Um. All right. If that's the case, then um, I feel, I feel like because vision holders are so rare. I feel like it'd be very rare for me to even get a vision. So I'm not going to bank on Genshin. Mm. Um. I think I'd probably, maybe. Mm, maybe Animal Crossing? No, that's fair. Very fair. A lot of people like Animal you Crossing. Could, yeah. You could, you could like. You can actually have a house. You yeah, actually you make good income. You you get to you get a house. You can just kind of fuck off and do whatever. Yeah. Nobody's hounding you for your bills. I mean, even Nook when you owe him, like the yeah, money, he can you know, just like, like take your time. Your yeah, he's just yeah, like he's yeah. Like, you know, Whatever, we're not in a rush. You yeah, know? I'm just chilling. And then you yeah. Can, yeah. And, and then come you on. Have, like, cute animal friends around you, and they're all nice, and they invite you to your house to hang out, you know? Right, right. You know, and then, and then all you have to do is really just go around the beach, fish, and get seashells, and that's how you make your money. Yeah, and you just have a good time. I feel like yeah. if I if I had the choice to just be in any world as just plain old me, I feel like that's the one I would live my best life in, is just mm -hmm. Animal Crossing. Yep, 100%. 100%. I agree. The album Cross is a great chill game too, so yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. Stop being computer. Don't do that. Okay, cool. Uh -oh. Um, no, it is Behave. being. It's because <laughs> cat is right here. It's being uh, a butt. It's being a butt. <laughs> he's helping. He's the interview co-host. I know he wants to ask you a question, but he's asleep right now, so he can't. Oh. Oh. He wants to know. He wants to know if you have treats for him. Uh, I will find treats for him. Okay. He he's now more interested. He's now more interested. In this <laughs> um, if you could collab with any VTuber out there, no matter how big or small they are, who would you like to collab with? I think God tier goals. Like I could I could consider myself fully accomplished is if I could do a song cover together Ooh. with uh, unnamed or Yusan. That'd be um, cool. Do you do you know Yusan? I think I've heard of them. Um, so they were originally a Niji Sun G E N VTuber uh, in their past life, but now they're now they're an indie VTuber living their best life. Nice, nice. Um, they are super super cool. They have such an amazing voice. I love their music. I love hearing them sing. Um, and I think just getting to collab with them uh, and maybe even sing with them would be such like a cool and amazing experience. Mm -hmm. I could die happy. Uh, die happy. That's great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be one goal that'd be a goal in the future in the future be cool to see that'd be cool to see um speaking of goals do you have any goals for your stream um 
immediate goals would be it'd be really really sick if i could hit 2k by the end of the year let's go um, let's see it let's see it happen let's see it happen guys yeah, yeah. Let's see fingers, it crossed, fingers crossed let's go that'd be, that'd be really banger goal if i could hit that by the end of the year as like an immediate thing but more long term i think would just be sort of slowly growing and building my community um and also making more song covers i really really do enjoy singing i want to improve my singing uh and maybe even eventually come up with and like make an original song i think that'd be really fun to do i like to hear i wonder what kind of song you can come up with that'd be kind of cool yeah i think i think it would be interesting to see too but i feel like i need to get some more experience first before i try to make my own original content <laughs> true true you know what makes sense makes sense i understand all right, so last question of the night. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is my favorite question of all time. I love this question because no matter how many people ask to answer this question, they always tribute some kind of useful information. And that is, if you have any advice for those who might get into streaming or VTubing, what would they be? Um, I think it would be to recognize what you have going for you. Mm -hmm. That's everybody really gets good. in everybody gets into it thinking, you know, oh, I'll I'll blow up if I do the same thing that all the popular people are doing, right? But that can only kind of work a little bit and only for so long. At the end of the day, you are the content. So you have to recognize what it is that you're bringing to create mm -hmm. uh, and add to like the atmosphere. I think that's sort of the key thing is recognizing what are you, what are you doing, who are you, and if you can do that, I think you build a much stronger, more stable base for yourself, especially like building up in the future. Mm -hmm. I one hundred percent agree. Like it seems like to me personally, like that's like the biggest part when you start like, establishing yourself as a creator is that what makes you you like why are you streaming what kind of content do you like to bring up because if you just say that you're a streamer that plays video games yeah it's not really enough you know you kind of have say, to stand out oh, yeah, i'm a i'm a genshin streamer yeah i mean how many people are streaming in the genshin tag right now exactly you know? So it's kind of like so it kind of like you have to like kind of stand on your own two feet and kind of like show off yourself. That's like one that's it. It kind of fits with that question in the beginning of like what do you bring to the community that helps you stand out a little bit? You know, like like what do you do? Like one thing I am very proud of is that I host these kind of VTuber interviews, these little talk yeah. shows. You know, I feel like that's pretty unique and different. And so far, I, it allows me to meet some amazing, awesome people. Like yeah, and you're very uh like very social and personable as well. So it's very easy for you to fit that role too because mm -hmm. you kind of work really well and mesh really well with getting along with other people. I, I feel like I can always find myself like matching and like and like vibing with like pretty much anyone's level of energy, you know. Either it's really wacky and crazy or like down to earth chill, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. I think that is uh that is absolutely a skill. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's definitely something that I, I found myself really enjoying about myself. But I do like yours too, because your your skill is actually very vibe heavy. Like like you want to just I just I can talk to you about anything and never get tired. Like I feel like I feel like you <laughs> always have like something like interesting to attribute to, and you have a really interesting view on things too. I like it. Yeah, I like I like talking, and uh, for some reason, people like hearing me talk, and I guess that's my strong suit as a VTuber. It's a good one. It's a good one. I love it. It's great. I think it's really good. I, I think you keep it up. Keep it up. Because I know for a fact you'll go far. You will definitely go far. Aww. Aww. I believe in you too, Trickle. Aww, thank you, you, thank you. I appreciate it. Cool. Well, hey, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you so much for answering every single one of them. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, great. it means a lot to me for you to invite me here. Of course, it made me of feel course. very, very happy and special. Oh, you <laughs> are special. It was really great. I, I, I love, I love having you here. And that, that tarot card reading was actually really cool. I really like that a lot. I've never had that happen to me before personally, and I think that was really fun. <laughs> I'm glad that my first experience was that. You know. So thank you so much. I'm thank glad you. I could. I'm glad I could be your first Trico. Thank you. Of course, <laughs> of course. He, she literally took my T card for me. Get, yeah, get, 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 get,
It's, it's supposed to be a double joke, a double joke because it's like cards, tarot cards, and it's also yeah. a joke. <laughs> but it's I also tried... about virginity. <laughs> <laughs> what a funny joke. <laughs> it's a good joke. It's a good joke. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining in. You guys are freaking amazing. Um, do you have anyone you would like to rate for us? Will we take this community oh. to uh, someone you like to rate? Let me see. Thank you guys all for uh, checking in and that being in on the chat. There's, you are awesome. I love to be able to meet your community. Thank you for introducing me to. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Oh, my friend Oka is live. We could raid my friend Lady Ooh. Oka. Send me, send me that in the Discord, yeah, yeah. please. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for joining. I love how much tangents we went off. We went on some really good tangents. I think that was fun. It's really good. Um, this is very nice. I'm going to get this all situated. As I get this situated, uh, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash indiedere, I-N-D-I-D-E-R-E. I also post on YouTube. I post my ASMR VODs on YouTube and also my song covers Ooh. on YouTube, also uh, at indiedere. Uh, and you can also find me on Twitter, also at indiedere. Uh, or you can join my Discord, which uh, I have linked in like my, in my Twitch bio, stuff like that. Nice. Definitely go check her out. Definitely check her out. I would love to hear more music. I want to hear some music. I'm probably going to, at some point this week, I can't guarantee today, but at some point this week, I will definitely be checking out the mural covers. Definitely. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Cool. Well, hey, uh, thank you guys all so much for joining in. You guys are freaking amazing. Definitely go check out Indie Dairy. Also, if you guys are interested, we do these interviews each and every week where we interview a brand new VTuber. So if you'd like to be introduced to some really cool, awesome people, you can also follow me. The next person that will be on my show should be a ghost VTuber. Ooh, a very ghost VTuber. Spooky. So this will be very spooky. <laughs> so I, I'm looking forward to this one. This one looks really cool. And I really love her design. But until then, thank you guys so much for joining in. You guys are freaking amazing. Let's give some lovely, lovely raid happy vibes to Lady Oka. Oka, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Lady Oka. Let's give some lovely happy raids to Lady Oka. Thank you guys so much for joining in. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. 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 Oh, uh, Derry, don't leave Discord yet, okay? Okay. <laughs> bye bye everyone. Bye.